Star Wars is now 40 years old. I find 99 objects that do 99. But a bitch ain't one. <laughs> Welcome to Fat Man Batman. I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Mark Bernard. Uh, okay, so Star Trek Discovery is happening, whether you want it to or not. <laughs> what is the sonic power Black Canary uses called in the comic book? Canary Cry? Correct! This episode of the Quit Stalling Geekcast is brought to you by Jinx.com to get 10% off of your entire shopping cart. Use the promo code QUITSTALLING underscore 366 at checkout. Yes! Head on over to Jinx.com and get yourself a Halo shirt, a supersonic acrobatic rocket power battle car shirt, any Blizzard shirt that you want. Head on over to Jinx.com, use the promo code QUITSTALLING underscore 366. The intro stopped playing in the background. That's weird. Uh... I was supposed to be playing bed music. But, you know, yeah, head on over to Jinx.com. Use the promo code quitstalling underscore 366 at checkout. And get yourself 10% off of all the gamer and geek swag that you like. Whether it's a Minecraft shirt, whether it's a StarCraft shirt, or, you know what, Shroud has some swag on there now that his uh, C9 contract is up. Jinx.com, quitstalling underscore 366. Save yourself some swag. Oh, sorry, some money when you get your swag. My hair is a mess right now. Uh, I forgot that I'm supposed to wake up this early when we do a geek cast. It's been a while. It's been a while. Welcome, everyone. Yes! I am Harold Sylvester, and I'm your host for today. This this lovely, lovely show that we do called the Quitstall and Geek Cast. You know, th for those of you watching for the first time, this is a supposedly weekly show that makes sure it crams everything inside the prequel movie. Uh, this is our excuse to go on the internet and talk about geek stuff. Uh, you know, like comic books, movies, TV, comic book movies, and comic book TV. So, uh, as you, you might be wondering, oh, who's this Harold guy and why is he talking? Well, it's not just this Harold guy. All right? He's got co-hosts with him today. And you know what? Let's get to them. Making his 31st, question mark, is it your 31st? 31st appearance on the Quit Song Geek cast. No relation to Choey. Relation? Relation to Choey. Oh, damn it. I'm, I keep, it's, it's been a while since I've done this. No relation to Zoe. It's Choey Saldana. Hey, Wancha. <laughs> you got that fixed up. All right. It's been a while. What's up, man? Oh, God. I miss doing this. I really, really do. So, thanks for having me back. Even though I, I didn't. Mean, it, was, it, was like it was a toss up. Two months, you know? It was, it was either like heads or tails. I was either going to have you back or just do the show solo. So, I guess, you know, you're safe for now. <laughs> well, you know, well, now we're. You're technically training another guy, so te when I'm not there, you know, this guy on your show, all right? Yeah. Yeah, Wancho's planning not to show up anymore, guys. No, no, no. Just, <laughs> I'm stable now. I'm stable. Don't worry. So I'll be here. I'll be here. I'll, I'm oh, all, I will get a new webcam, too, which I have been saying since, like, December. So. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, Wancho, Wancho mes uh, message mentioned another co-host. Well, we do have a new guy, you know, on the show today. Way, way from the far east. Uh, not really. He's in he's in America right now. He's in he's in the west. He's he's known to his loyal followers as Sensei Humor. It's Derek O'Brien. Hello. Oh my God. I totally fail. I tried to do a cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was so. What? Stop. All right. I tried to do a cool thing. Thank you guys for having me. This is Derek. Last name O'Brien. As Harold said. I go by Sensei Humor on on my uh, my stream. Currently, I'm streaming Fortnite, but I'm very honored to be on the show on Mondays because I'm also a geek at heart, and I love these two. These two guys are really close friends of mine, and I am excited to do the show today. Can't wait. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Francis is gonna clip it. Thanks, Francis. <laughs> I, I, I try to do like the cool Akatsuki like. No, dude. <laughs> <I failed. laughs> it almost worked. It, I know, it was, but it was good. My face. We'll, we'll work yeah. on that. Maybe next week it'll 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 we'll pull it off. <laughs> oh man! So as you can see, I'm half done filling out the studio with foam. This in like an hour, right after the show. This will be this will be all foam behind me. So I'm your gonna. Camera's great, by the way, you look very cute. I can want to touch your face. Thank oh, you, yeah. thank you. I I, I work out. 
Um, I see Watcho enough, so I, I'm just tired of his fans. Like, want to see you? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yo know, guys, we like 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 we've I mentioned. I thought Watcho was leaving. He was like. <laughs> Uh, so we have, yeah, we haven't done this in a while. So, you know, Wancho, Derek, Derek, I, I'm, you know, Derek, you've seen the show before. You're, you're fine. Don't worry I have, about I it. I have seen this. I watch, you guys, I watch when Wancho goes on, and I watch when you guys have Goward, uh one day as well. I watched a couple of other ones. Okay, awesome. Okay, I, I, was, I was being sarcastic, but great that you've actually seen the show before. Um, so, <laughs> come on, you guys. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so you know. Uh, what we do at the start of the show is we pretty much ask each other what, what we've been up to for the past week. But since I haven't seen Wancho in two months, uh, let's try and squeeze everything in 15 minutes. Um, so, uh, Wancho, show Derek out some. What have you been up to? Oh, man. If I, if I were to explain all of it, <clears throat> <laughs> that'd be the entire show, man. That'd be the entire show. So since since the last time I talked to you, I visited Ira when she she when she when she went to San Francisco. Yeah, your girlfriend. Started, she was here for yeah, my girlfriend. She was here for a month. So I stayed with her and then I realized, oh I should look for work here in San Francisco since she'll be going she'll be going here all the time. Started looking for work and then decided to jump the gun and just move to San Francisco. Tried to look for a place to live in. Found out my cousin lives here and he was nice enough to invite me to live to, at his place. So I'm now I'm living here with my cousin. Uh, so I did have to look for a place. But now I, I started looking for a job. I got a job. I started today. And, huh, there we go. I, I squeezed all of it in. Oh, awesome. Dude. So how was your day? <laughs> how, how was your first day on the job? It was uh, it was just orientation. So you, I was there for like five hours. We, I watched uh, one of those, you know, the corporate safety videos. Like, oh, do not touch <laughs> asbestos. If, if there's asbestos, don't touch it. I'm like, OK, yes, yeah, and learning. Yeah, uh, she yes. she's hot, Wancho, but don't touch her. Right? As best as <laughs> is, is, is a pretty lady, but please, that's, that's considered sexual harassment. Oh yeah, yeah, Wancho. Oh, oh, you can't talk about that. That's that's really. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually gonna try and avoid Chris Hardwick for today. <laughs> the funny thing is, Wancho, at our at my job, I we have uh, like customers that come in and they actually they they like install that. So I work at a plumbing wholesaler and they they talk about asbestos or asbestos pipe I, I probably said it wrong because i've never heard it how you said it and yours probably said it right but we we're also on to touch it so let's both not touch things together okay yeah right. Look, keep your hands to yourselves guys oh uh, yeah, derek i'm noticing that. you have a blue yeti man i used to have a yeti and i love my yeti and i i don't know nice. what happened just one day it started sounded like sounding like i was in a tin can so i freaked out really i, I remember that day right and right the entire time you're like, well, what, what? Am I a robot? Like, what am I, why do I sound like this? Oh. Don't lie. You were totally in the bathroom and you're just trying to play it <laughs> off. <laughs> it's like that vacuum echo. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I was doing my cam show from the bathroom, then Wancho called me. So, <laughs> I honestly, I just did reviews online because I just really wanted a quick setup. I wanted to get on stream right away. I kind of wanted to build stuff, and I knew eventually I was gonna save for like a more concrete, like better mic and camera, yeah. obviously. You know. But yeah. like yours is amazing. Thank you, thank you. Okay, real quick, guys, before we before we talk more about ourselves, I want to give a huge shout out to Miku P in the chat for his third subscription. To us, thank you so much for the sub, Miku P. You the man. You the man. Hey, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we just had Miku P on Game Bite last week uh, on Wednesday. So if you haven't checked that episode out yet, you know it's on the Twitch vods. If you're watch you're watching us live, uh, just click on videos above. It's gonna it's there. Uh, the audio only version should be up soon because I've, I've been slacking. I've been slacking. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Miko P. Yeah, we had such a great episode with him on Game Bite uh, with, with Mick and Diego and all that. And we're actually going to hang out on Thursday and have That's some awesome. ramen. Yeah, we're going to have some ramen. Uh, thank you, Miko P. And cool. Francis is in the chat too. Uh, he, he sent me the clip of, of Derek's uh, awesome uh, first ever intro on the Geek Cast. Epic intro. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna go on the Facebook uh, in in an hour or two after the show. <laughs> Francis has that actually been saying a lot on the chat. Uh, he said, yeah. "Wantro ain't Gontro no more." Yep. Right for right. now. Thank God. For this show. For... Yeah, that's why we're training Derek. <laughs> we're, we're making sure. We're making sure. I always and, uh, have a ghost. <laughs> he also he's asking Derek, "What kind of games do you play, Derek?" And I think that's perfect segue to tell us more about yourself. 
Go ahead. Yeah, Derek. Your turn. I think Derek's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! We'll, we'll, we'll get him back in a second. All right, never uh, mind. So, Harold, how have you been, man? Oh, dude, months. thanks for that. Like, dude, I've I've honestly missed the Geek Cast. I don't tell don't tell Diego and Mick, but the Geek Cast is my favorite show. I'm back. Sorry. Oh, there he is. There he is. No, no worries. No worries. Sorry. So uh, I, I, I was I was to say I saw I noticed too that you also asked me and is that I can't read it for some reason it's very blurry. Is that the how do you say his username? Is it for for Francis? Francis. Francis. Okay, Francis. Okay, I'm gonna say Francis, Francis. because that's yeah. way easier. <laughs> Okay. So I play currently. I stream only Fortnite just because it's kind of a big game right now. I was the funny story is I wasn't even wanting to play that game. Like a lot of my friends played it, and I thought it looked really dumb. And then I started playing, and I started wanting to get better. And I watched Ninja a lot. I watched other people watch it to get better. Now I stream a lot. However, I do play a lot of video games, and I, Wancho and Harold, I'm pretty sure can both, you know, answer to this. I play a lot of board games. I think yeah. it would be really cool. If Get, like one time and played a board game. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, yeah, you know, on stream wouldn't be so bad. I, I've seen people that, do it. I, that'd be cool. We could do like D and D, or uh -huh. just right now we could just go. Oh, let's play Say Anything. <laughs> just go on, <laughs> online. Go online. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm always down to do whatever. You know. Yeah. You just have to write things. Show it on the camera. You know. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I, I, that is a great idea. That's Let's true. do that we, one time. Yeah, we can actually just make we that a segment actually. on the show. We'll start next week. Yeah, that, we'll that's, start, that sounds like know, a really fun segment now, actually. We should play. Yeah, that would be that. We'll do it. <laughs> that's 100, yeah, 100 I'm, set. I'm excited. I actually have a little board with, like, an eraser. I'm just excited. <laughs> I have pen and paper. <laughs> we'll do it. Yeah. We'll, 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 during the post show, we'll discuss that so we can actually do it next week. Awesome. That'd be sick. Yeah. Uh, Francis says to play Fibbage. Oh, Jackbox Games. Huge oh, shout out yeah, to... Yeah. Yeah, huge shout out to Arnie Niekamp and everyone over at Jackbox Games and uh, everyone from Hello from the Magic Tavern. So, yeah, yeah Jackbox Games. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Derek, so you, you play. Yeah, I mean, this is your first time on the show. And, uh, right. you know, likely for the a lot of our first time viewers or you know, people who watch us regularly, it's, the first, it's their first time seeing you. So uh, t tell them a little bit about yourself, aside from the fact no. that you play Fortnite. Um. I play Fortnite. I'm also Filipino, half Filipino, and half Irish. So my my dad is Irish, but we, he's really American. I know Irish very accent. Small. We're doing Irish <clears> accent. I can try it, but it's very. I can't even do it anymore. It's like it's very hard to do the Irish accent because you try to drink some beer, but you spill it all over your keyboard. I don't know. That's the best I got. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'm half Irish Filipino, and I I went to the Philippines to study. That's how I met. Harold and Wancho. Yeah. We act ran GG the way it should have been. You know what I'm saying? We're the original founders of <laughs> Actually, Harold is. Harold's in the batch that was made it great. Oh, and so Derek's you... talking about uh, the the college radio station we actually all met yeah. up uh, through. Uh, you know, I, 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 as much as possible, I, I don't uh, give them too much credit because I'd like to think this talent was innate. But, I mean... You know, when they, because we, I wasn't there too long, but, you know, the training they give you there, it's the training that you don't think, it's it's the stuff that when you go to the training, you're kind of like, I knew that, but it's more of when they tell you what you're supposed to do, you're like, I know that, uh, I do that already. And then, you know, it's it's more of right. when they say it, it reaffirms, like, what, you're, what you thought you knew, because... The the training the training is actually really the training is actually really valuable. It's just uh, you don't think it is while you're there because it sounds like common sense, even though it isn't. I don't know yeah. about you guys. I was I was trained in Green Media Group. Then I went to GG. Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact: I actually uh, took Quancho's job. Oh, he stole a show from me. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know each other yet, and we were just trying to get this hosting gig. I was like, you're pressured doing it. Oh. Diego was like. Diego was a president at the time, and should, I'm assuming he goes on this show too, from time to time. Uh, he he was actually uh, the guy who filled in for Mikhail, and then okay, beca yeah, because we wanted to talk more about games. He's not really much of a geek, so we just span off into the ge uh, game bite, and then I, I, yeah. But yeah, so it was funny. He he, I was pressured into doing hosting because that's when we started our hosting pool, and then I did that 
big dance thing, and then I got paired up with a chick from GMG, and I wondered who I replaced. And then when I met Wacho, you we were like, he was like, you took that from me. I was, I was like, trying to get that I, gig. I was supposed to host that. It was with there. Hannah, right? Hannah? Yeah, it was Hannah. Yeah, Hannah yeah, Bang. Yeah. yeah. Fun fact, though, I was the voiceover for that. So, you know, I was, I was one of the telling people not to stand sense. up. I Wait, did know. me and you ever host something, Wacho? No, no, no. We ne oh, oh. Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure. I We're hosting the GeekCast right now. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I don't know, I, I, I just, I'd like to add one little tidbit about Derek. Yeah, so go probably for Probably out of the three, of, out of the three of us, he's the only one who's actually. Oh wait, no, I'm not sure about you, Harold, but Derek has actually gotten paid to talk to himself. Right? <laughs> Are you talking about? On my stream? Cause yes. No, you, you no, you used to work for RX, dude. The That's true, that is true. I used to work for Manila's hottest RX ninety three point one and that was pretty fun. Um that that that's that, that's, that's a local radio station for, for people abroad. That's, yeah. RX, it was, uh, Monster RX. I was my daddy on that show was, was Andre, but he's no longer with the station. But that it was fun. That was a great experience. It was fun. I met a lot of people. Uh, and it was a good experience. I just I would have stayed there. I just, I just miss home too much, and I, I, I just came back. Mm. But yeah. I will visit again. Um, yeah, that's so... hella professional. So you don't have, you have nothing to be scared of, Derek. Nothing. You got yeah, this. So... <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, honey. Uh, oh, I'll give you a kiss. It's now. so sweet. It's so sweet. Watch well, was actually in the other room. Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, don't give away the secret that I'm actually also in the other room. <laughs> if I, like, I don't know. If, if we like had... House. Yeah, if we were in, under the same roof, I don't know if I would prefer, like, one camera versus this. Because this, we kind of have our own, like, spotlights. But if we were in one right. camera, someone would always... Like, someone would be in the middle and people would yeah, be in the sides. Yeah. No, yeah. dude. What you do then is we do the stream with a 360 camera. <laughs> and then it, it'd, it'd be a round table you put in the middle and we're all talking like a round no, table no, it'd be like this so like i would be uh, the other way like i would turn sideways and then watch would be at my back and then want and then harold would be in the middle we'd be like the charlie's angels of quit stopping <laughs> that that should be our first photo shoot together we'd be like we just oh, do the please. oh that'd please. be so good that'd be that'd so be good pretty. <laughs> oh man! I remember, what, yeah, like before we get to the actual geek stuff. I remember when I brought up, uh, yeah, doing a photo shoot with Diego Zini. He's like, you know, Harold, uh, uh how's this? Uh, I really that's a good impression. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I haven't even seen, I haven't even seen Diego in years, and I just know that's him, dude. Like that's how good it is. I guess I like this. Uh, <laughs> Damn. He's probably watching right now. Like, screw you guys. <laughs> I, I hope he's watching. Actually, I'm, just, I, I'm, I'm seeing DZ on Thursday as well for ramen with Mikupi. But uh, yeah, and actually seeing him later for the Overwatch scrims. So awesome. Diego pretty much said like, let's not do photo shoots because you know they, when when we have promo material, they should see us in our element. So he was saying like our photos should be like. Like, what, what it looks like right now, like, in the show. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which made sense. And then I was like, but I also want a photo shoot. It'll probably be a day where we're all together. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt but that. I it would. also want to be fabulous. Right? Right? Anyway. Anyway, wait, yeah. wait, wait. So we've, we've, we've been doing intros for 20 minutes now. So I just want to <laughs> oh, yeah, make man. sure Hell gets the top. And just, I, I want to know what Hell's been up to. Okay? Oh, so yeah. yeah. I'm distracted. Yeah. I haven't heard from you in a while. I would love to hear this. Yeah, that'd be awesome, actually. So I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible as well. Uh, I haven't really announced this on any social media because un until it happens, like, happens, happens, I don't want to make too big of a deal of it because I still could get not get the job. But I got an e I got emailed back by TV5's uh, GG Network, so our local one of the local TV stations gaming arms. Uh, GG Network, and apparently I got a job as a host for them. So that's they're gonna awesome. Contact. Yeah, yeah, it, it's really damn. Cool. Okay, oh, never, never mind. Never mind. Derek's not the most professional here. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just stepped down. Yeah, I just so... took a seat. Great. <laughs> so yeah, it, it was great news yesterday because it had actually it had, yesterday it was 
around two months and a day since I did the audition for them. So I thought, I thought it wasn't going to happen. I thought, like, honestly, I was like, how unprofessional. They didn't even email me back saying I didn't get the job. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but they did. It was, yeah, but they did. It was great news. And they said, like, I did, uh, I, I was one of the ones that was picked. So it was, it was awesome. I, awesome. yeah, I, I got excited. And aside from that, like, World Cup fever has gripped me, so uh, up until three weeks ago, I'd only spent like three hours in FIFA 18, and then since the World Cup hit, I've I've just explored FIFA 18 a lot. Like, t- turns out, like, you can create your own character and play him online with other people who made themselves online. It's called Pro Clubs, so it's for the people who don't want to actually play soccer in real yeah. life with other people. They can just play soccer... In, in online with other people. <laughs> that's cool. Dude, I've, I've I, seen that. Yeah, my, my roommate plays FIFA a lot, so I I, I, I really don't it. like soccer. Yeah. Really? I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's so it, it's not it, for everyone, I guess. It's like it takes okay. I don't really like anything. you, but I mean, <laughs> 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 jokes on you because I, I actually I mean, love like, you. You know, you know how the the one dude, the goalkeeper, right? The he one dude hold the ball. He can hold the ball, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So why doesn't he just get that ball and then run to the other side and then throw it into the, the zone thing? Where you can only hold it. No, Derek. He actually did that in America, and that's why we have American football. Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> or rugby. Yeah, I, I was going to say, like, I, part of me gets why we still call American football American football. Yeah, we're gonna get to—I swear to God—we're gonna get to the geek news in one second, guys. But like, <laughs> no, we're talking about box here, man. We're talking part about part of me still sports. gets why we call it American football, but like, part of me also says let's just let's just switch to the metric system, guys. Let's just go and call it American hand egg. Let's just bite the bullet, <laughs> go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's just call it American hand egg. Let's just go one year, dude. You know, like. I'd be so down for everything here in America to just be metric. Right? Um, uh, it's like, it's, it's, for me, it's opposite. Like, when I went to you guys, I was not prepared. Like, people were telling me <laughs> kilometers and everything else. I'm like, what is this form of measurement I've never used? <laughs> so I was, like, shocked. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's exactly guys, how far I have. Like, you, you don't understand. I'm, I'm an engineer. So when I was studying this these things... And I was doing like hella long, like really long calculations. And I find out, oh my God, I'm wrong at this one one part. Everything was right, except one stupid thing was in Fahrenheit or something. It had to be in Celsius. I'm like, are you kidding me? Thanks, America. (laughs) (laughs) But now you're here, so you're screwed. (laughs) Good luck. I mean, yeah. yeah, hopefully your job, yeah, hopefully your job doesn't keep you from the geek cast too much. Yeah, hopefully Fahrenheit doesn't frustrate you that much. <laughs> the... yeah. Oh, man. Well, shit, Fred, because it's getting kind of hot. Fahrenheit, oh. you know. Oh. So. That's oh, getting okay. kind of hot. Anyway, we've been talking about ourselves for like 25 minutes now. Let's get to the news. Oh, Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Wancha. Let's do it. It's time for the news. Oh, yes. Oh, I see. Good news, everyone! It's the news! And you... Oh, why are your... Why is Skype, like, the other way around for you guys? I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that real quick. Uh, oh, that threw me off. Oh, it's the news, no, guys. Scary. And the news is brought to us... Oh, man, I don't have the ads on, on the Geekcast. It's been that long that the, st- the ads I have for, for Game Byte aren't here in the Geekcast layout. Okay, well, uh, the news... <laughs> The news Wait, is we have real by... ads? Yeah, we have ads now. We have proper video ads that... Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, wow. Uh, that's hella cool. I... That's how long it's been. I didn't use... That's how long we it's been. We used to joke around and go like, oh, the, the, the news is brought to you by Google, because that's where we get I thought you were trying to show that's, ads. That's what we always like, do. A PS4 ad, just like... <laughs> just across the screen. Uh, you, know what, you know what, Derek? Yeah, go for it. Uh, do, do an ad for, for PS4. <laughs> <laughs> PS4, where greatness awaits. Ah, pling. I saw that on commercial once. That's why I know the slogan. I would have not have known. <laughs> yeah, is that is that really is that really what they say? Where greatness awaits. I, so the, I keep seeing the one where like everybody's flying, 
and it looks like a movie. They're on a beach and they're all like flying in the air, and then it's a PS4 trailer or commercial. I'm like, what? (laughs) PlayStation commercials are weird, man. Did you see that? They are baby one. Nah. The 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 baby baby commercial. There's like a really weird PlayStation commercial that involves a baby. Weird. It's 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 really old, like, but it it haunts me. I gotta look at this now. I gotta. Uh, Yeah, instant DZ is in, is in the chat. He's saying, "Sorry, can I get a TL, TLDR of Launch's new job?" And then he also said, "Game Byte is the superior show." <laughs> what did he say? I, I sorry, I was cutting out a little bit. He, he said, "He said Game Byte is the superior show." Are you gonna take that lying down, Launch? Are you gonna take that lying down? I'm hurt, Diego. You know what? Who even watches Game Byte? <laughs> Yeah, quit <laughs> stalling and watch <laughs> us. Watch what greatness awaits. Well, like and just said, shows, so. <laughs> like... Oh man, yeah. So, well, DZ, welcome to the show, man. Thank, thank you for tuning in. We, we, yeah, it's, it's great to have you here. But yeah, uh, oh, Diego Z. Oh, let's see, Miko P in the chat says PS4 where your Fortnite account gets locked. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, shout out to Human Panda Twenty Two in the chat. Hey man. Uh, okay, so I totally forgot what we were supposed to be talking about. Uh, wait, what were Star we talking Wars. about? Oh, the ads. <laughs> yeah, we, we have problems. Oh, yeah, ads. I did my own PS4 ads. <laughs> Dude, search it. PS3 baby commercial. It's weird. Oh man, it's weird. I, I kind of don't want to. <laughs> so scared. The, the first thing you see is a baby's head backwards, like it's on backwards. <laughs> what? Why? How did, that, that's the thumbnail. That's the freaking th- <laughs> thumbnail for that commercial. Jeez, really? <laughs> yeah, search it. PS uh, PS3, uh, baby commercial. Oh, I I kind of don't want to now. I feel like it's gonna be a game and it's like a trick. Yeah, I know, right? All right, so uh, search it. Search it. <laughs> let, let's talk about Disney real quick, guys. Let's talk about Disney you. because Disney, Disney is on the minds of everyone. Why is why is Derek's camera so skewed? Let me. Hey, let me no one it. saw that. I thought that was perfect timing. Hey, right. tell, let's talk about Disney. And I said Disney. <laughs> <Jeez. Huh. laughs> okay. Uh, so real quick, guys. Turns out the acquisition of of Fox by Disney is not a done deal yet. Uh, according to, oh, well, you know, this, this has been uh, going through developments for the past few weeks. Uh, actually, a couple months, but Comcast has actually put in a bid for for Fox as well, and it was higher than Disney's or- original offer. So for a while, for like a good day, people were like, "Oh no, Comcast is gonna swoop Fox from Disney," and then Disney went in and just like doubled down, and they were like, "You know, what? we're gonna we're gonna buy uh, we're gonna buy Fox for thirty eight dollars a share, which is a ridiculous amount of money because it, it's it's a lot." I actually forgot the actual number it it it, it comes out to. Oh, 71 billion dollars is is the total. Wow. In in not in cash and shares. So it's ridiculous. That's uh, a lot. <laughs> it's a whole lot of money. That's more money than we'll ever see in our entire lifetimes combined, guys. Uh so yeah, it turns out that's what that's what's happening and even more recent developments which was about the past 12 hours Apparently, people from Fox, like some of the execs at Fox, are now uh, put, you know, drawing out lawsuits to prevent the buyout from happening. So, Damn. yeah, things are getting messy over in over in Mickey Mouse Land. So and it's Fox. possible that they might not buy it then, or I think it's I think messy. Disney is I mean, powerful what's enough. What's gonna yeah. stop Disney? You know, yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's I think true. this is, if anything, this Man. is just gonna put more money in the execs' pockets. Yeah, you know, they're, they're just. Pretty much trying to milk this for what it's worth. They'll probably get a right. payout, and then mm-hmm. Disney will, will will get Fox. <laughs> Cause yeah, they're, right, right. Because they're so far along. Like, why stop now? I'm actually happy that Comcast didn't swoop. I feel like if they did swoop that, it would be horrible. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Comcast and everything, but I feel like the way that Disney's kind of has everything set right now, like with Marvel, having Fox would be a great addition. You yeah. Know? Definitely, definitely, and you awesome. know, in terms of creative content, that it's for for us, it's definitely for the better that Disney gets uh, the rights to all the Fox properties. Uh, but yeah. yeah, Comcast is like Comcast is great. They they own a lot of stuff, 
like uh, the Philadelphia Fusion in Overwatch League. Uh, right. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely in better hands with Disney in terms of creative, uh, creative output. And, right. you know, we... We all let's let's admit it. Selfishly, we all just want to see, you know, the Fantastic Four, yes, uh, X Men, and, and all those properties just go back to Disney and Marvel. That, that's pretty much what we want. Like, we, screw the monopoly that's going to happen. Uh, screw the taking over of the world by Mickey Mouse. We just want, <laughs> we just want the X Men to come home. <laughs> yeah, we just want them to be together. It's it's really <laughs> nice to think about if you uh, if you think about it though that. Sorry, if you think about it, like ten years ago, Marvel was was like at almost bankrupt. That's why it's it's been selling all the rights to dif- yeah. the superhero movies to different people. Right. No, and now seriously. it's like one of the most popular things. It's like one of the more most lucrative studios, and it's just now it's they're trying to get them all back. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Diego in the chat says, "I wish Disney bought DC. Imagine if Warner Brothers sold DC to Disney. I wish Disney just owned everything." <laughs> just make it easy for everyone, okay? Just make things happen. It'd be so much easier. But then, you know, you got to ask, though. It'd be so <laughs> weird if they brought back X-Men because technically Quicksilver and Scarlet are the X-Men, right? And they already yeah, yeah. said that they were enhanced. So, like, I mean, and that there's been rumors around, too, that Quicksilver might make an appearance in the second Avengers yeah, yeah. part two. So, I mean, Fox, just come on, sell, sell yourself. Yeah, just sell yourself well, so people maybe can what actually they could say do, mutant. No, what they could do is they just retcon everything. There's no mutants. Everyone's just enhanced. That's how they enter the universe, you know? Mm, That's yeah. true. They're and all just they enhanced. They're it's mutants. not genetic. Yeah, they could, it's a movie. They could, they could like, uh, twist it easily. They own it. They could do whatever. Yeah. Yeah, or it's, so, it's also just easy for them to be like, oh, we have a new classification. We can call them right. mutants. That's exactly Exactly what I'm saying. Like, we're actually called mutants. Like, oh, yeah. sorry. And of that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my yeah. bad. I didn't, I didn't think you wanted to be identified as a mutant. Sorry. Right? <laughs> seems <laughs> seems more like a derogatory term, if anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's interesting. And hopefully, you know, X-Men comes home. Uh, and, you know, in, in, in other Disney-related news... You know, we got Jordan Peele, you know, famous for Key and Peele, famous for uh, Get yeah. Out, which is one of the breakout horror movies of the century. Uh, turns out Jordan Peele has expressed interest recently of directing, of wanting to direct a Gargoyles movie, a live action Gargoyles movie. Actually, he, it, it wasn't even specific that he wanted to do live action. He just said he wanted to do a Gargoyles movie. And I am all for this. Have you, are you guys? I'm sure you guys are familiar with gargoyles, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to get your thoughts on this because I actually just want them to finish the gargoyle series. But getting a movie, yes, for me, for me, yeah, I'm I'm kind of down for that. Hard pass for me. Oh, really? really? Why? Why is that? Dude, I'm the. It's just gonna fail. It's gonna bomb. You just know it. The day. The the day of. Uh, what do you call that? When you rehash something, remake, remake? something, Re- reboot? No, no, like reboot. Reboot, yeah. Probably. Rebooting stuff right now is just, it's just not in anymore, man. People what are sick it? of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Transformers, exactly. and all that. So, so this is going to be paired with them. You know, it's going to be just. Some people are going to be like me. Just initial reactions are going to be, oh, it's going to be one of those movies, and it's not going to do well. But That's would what you I think. rather they reboot more? Transformers stuff like that Bumblebee movie, or would you rather get fresh content like a show that never really well, see, got its chance? That's what I would say. For me, I think it'd be a great opportunity because I, I'm gonna be honest. I, I watched Gargoyles. I'm sure everyone has, but that I was a kid. I don't remember anything. I don't remember the storyline. I don't know who's villain. It was kind of the same with Transformers, and I feel like Transformers and a lot of the other things might have got bad hash because of the directors and what they yes. did. Yeah. The thing. So if you take, I mean, Peel, who's done great movies, could actually turn that like i the idea around that all these reboots are bad possibly i mean like i said i think they have a lot of breathing room to do stuff with gargoyles i don't i haven't met anyone or seen anybody like hardcore gargoyles it's not like yeah. as big as transformers yeah you know and stuff yeah. like that but i i mean i'd be, i'd watch it i think it'd be, i i'd definitely watch it it'd be kind of cool just depending 
hopefully if the CGI wasn't bad, I mean, if it was like yeah. Ninja Turtles or something, I think that'd be okay. But then again, yeah, you know, you, yeah. I think it's, yeah, it's just, I think it's a director because you could make it funny. You could make it serious. It's, oh, I think it's all about the director. Honestly, exactly. I, I'm, I'm totally with you. Like imagine semi-horror, semi-action gargoyles. Like, you know, Jordan Peele with Get Out had a really good vibe going and that was a good, if he, yeah, that was good right if he could keep it going with with gargoyles like you know if james gunn could make the laughing stock a laughing stock of the marvel universe in guardians of the galaxy work as you know it went from total obscurity the guardians were a totally obscure uh superhero team no one outside of the hardcore comic book readers knew uh, about the guardians of the galaxy and now they're a household name Right. Does, I mean, just for the record, is anyone? I have, I'm like curious. Like, how did, like, what was the thing about gargoyles? Like, I've always known they're like, like they're statues and they come to life at night or whatever. But does anyone remember? Like, I I'm really curious if any of you do remember. Yeah, there was actually a lot of nuance <laughs> in their story because you know they were yeah you know, they 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 were always kind of like that. You know, they they'd be uh, stone during the day. Uh, gargoyle, living gargoyles at night, <laughs> and then it, it was a bit of tragedy that the humans that they were protecting turned on them. So that when they were stoned at night, the humans kind of like destroyed some of their brethren. So wait, that wouldn't be a good movie if they're both stoned on the daytime and nighttime. Like that's very bad for children. <laughs> oh, you mean like rock? I gotcha. No, <laughs> <God damn> it. <laughs> But yeah, no, yeah, I remember that. Now that you said that, I started remembering like a little like parts. See, like I had to watch that clip. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And it's just like I don't remember like what the story was about. Though I just like I don't know it. <laughs> yeah, and there there is so much you can get from that darkness of the story, and right. you could, yeah, right. You can go with a redemption theme. You can go with uh, a dark ending where you know the, like you can. You, there's so many places you could take this where you know. To, to explain what I'm thinking is like have the darkness of gargoyles wanting revenge and and being out for blood because their brethren were you know they were essentially murdered in their right. sleep and uh. have that fuel the 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 suspense thriller horror side of it and then introduce like the heroics near the end where you could start building a franchise and have them uh potentially be oh my god that is gonna that's that's another thing that I'm like completely sick of is trying to make a universe trying to build a franchise no, i will agree with that no not a universe movie. what i'm saying is build up a story so that you could have sequels not just a, a one-off movie have like if you want to have a trilogy and tell more you know don't don't uh -huh. end it on a sour note make it so that oh, yeah, right, right, right. there's more to them than just a horror factor is, is what i'm saying but just watch the studios though they're gonna make it Oh, it's gargoyles, and then the after credit scene, you see the SWAT cats jet. But it's Disney. Yeah, that'd be cool. But the, <laughs> <laughs> actually, that would be cool. I'll see, I'll see. Yeah. You just, you just made it. See, that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, actually. That is a good. <laughs> 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 see, I would be so gay for that. But you, you get what I'm saying is, since it's Disney. That, that could potentially team up with Jordan Peele. Imagine a James Gunn esque level of revival for the for the gargoyles. Oh right, right, right. But man, yeah, can, I think he has a talent. Name like one good reboot, like just right now, top of your head. Hmm. Reboot mm -hmm. like uh... reboot. Like just tell me one good reboot. The first Transformers movie. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jurassic World. Well, it's not really a reboot. That's the like first a Jurassic World for me was amazing. Well, I, I want to know if that that's was a reboot, sequel. though. That's more like a sequel. I, hold on. Because it continues I, the story. I can, I can probably think of one. Hold on. Oh, how about yeah. uh, the Mummy? Oh wait, no, that sucked. That, that, that was. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, there's I'll, that the uh, Baywatch. Oh wait, no, that's wait, wait, bad. no, no, no. Let's 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 not, let's not think of reboots specifically. Let's think of a reboot that Disney did, because yeah, that, that that might be more fair. Yeah. Okay, well, in fairness, like, uh, the live-action Jungle Book was okay. Like, I didn't think uh, it was that bad. Yeah. Uh, but it is weird that they're doing another one. They're doing yeah. another Jungle Book. And that's kind of weird. Like, okay. in the same year, like, uh, well, within, like, three or four years, that, that's kind of weird. 
Yeah, like, I feel like the live action Red, Red movie or Stick bad. is a reboot. Which one is? Or Stick. Oh, no. Fantastic Four. Let's not. Let's not talk about that's Fox. A, Fox. That's like a Spider-Man level like mini reboots. Literally oh, all the horror movie reboots were bad. I'm trying to think. I'm I'm really thinking. Horror movies oh, yeah. were really bad. Yeah. Uh, well, it hey, no, it it was really good. Oh, it, it was yeah, really there, good. Okay, it, there you go. Yeah, it, yeah, uh, there. Really thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Derek. Oh, okay, okay, really really <laughs> I was generally freaked out. I gotta tell you about this story. Me and my wife watched it at like twelve midnight. I told Watcher this. I'm no. pretty sure. But we watched it twelve midnight. I we go home and I have this like dark hill. I have to go up in order to get home. And we're driving, and I saw something on the side of the road that was red. And I'm like, okay, what is that outside the window? It was on her side. And she looked down, it was like a red balloon that was like crushed against the, oh the curb near the sewer. I swear to God. <laughs> I was like, no. Oh my God. But I thought that was a weird coincidence. And Diego said Spider Man, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I was going to I was gonna get to that. Uh, so, yeah, you, you're saying uh, Spider Man was a good Disney reboot from a, actually, even from a Fox franchise, uh, from a Sony franchise. So that's that's actually not bad. Uh, he yeah, also said the video game on the Sega for Gargoyles was great, and James Earl Jones was the X Factor for for the Gargoyles TV show. He can still do it. You can still do the the voice of Goliath, kind of like how. Well, James uh, Earl Jones is a voiceover on a Gargoyle. I'd definitely watch. I didn't <laughs> right? know that. Yeah, well, like, you can... Uncle James. Damn, Diego, knowing random ass things. <laughs> Why don't they just be on the show? Man, I actually remember that Sega thing. I feel like I played that game before. Oh. Do they like do they like jump and like? Yeah, yeah, you know, like the old school, like. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't jump, Derek. Okay, you know what? Video they game probably... where things where things jump. That's so weird. Wait, well, here, like I, have a, side... I have a clip of it. I have a clip of it. Oh, <laughs> let me let me bring it up on the screen. Uh, yeah. So, oh yeah, they do go from like side to side and, and jump around. Don't jump my butt. Watch it just like. Psh, 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 psh. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> oh man. Remember, yes. I gave you remember. Okay, so speaking of reboots and you know the and horror, actually horror style suspense thrill reboots, Jamie Fox guys has been cast as Spawn. What if you heard to Spawn like the musical? The can, R and D. Can I be a tennis ball? Tennis ball. <laughs> oh God, yeah. So. I want to get your thoughts on this because this was out of left field for me. Out of, honestly, I did I didn't know this was coming, and then I just got hit with it. I, I'm watching this game. I say hard pass for this. I, Dude, I don't hard pass. pass. He failed. Pass. I don't. He didn't do good as Electro. He's better as the funny, silly guy. I can't even. It's because he's like made this persona. I, I'd say this to everybody about a lot of actors. People like Sheldon, who plays Sheldon. People who are in Twilight. Uh, it, I feel like it's hard when you're in that persona. It's hard to get out of it. Like you, can, except like Hermione Granger, which is Emma Watson. Like she, she's been in a couple movies where you can kind of like, you know, oh, I can see her outside of that. But people like that are no, in the Harry no, Potter she's, franchise. She's Hermione, she's Hermione well, right, forever. No, that's what I'm saying. Though. It's like you, you, these people are stuck in stuck in a role. That's the word I was looking for. And I feel like Jamie is stuck in that like kind of weird, funny guy thing, and he's done it even on like. Late night shows with Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel. He's always been the funny guy. And now yeah, yeah. he's trying to be serious. It's not like, like, see, like with Quinn, Har Har I almost said Harley Quinn. I'm going to say Quinn Star Lord. Uh, Chris Pratt is like a naturally funny guy. Oh, like, Peter Quinn. fit the yeah. character, right? Right. So I, what did I say? I say Peter. I say Quinn. I'm, you said I'm Quinn, yeah. Quinn. It's, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. It happens. But uh, yeah, so I, I just, I don't think it, it fits him. You know, some people can play it off, some people can't. I, I don't think it's going to work out. Yeah, Diego Diego Z in the chat has, has given the perfect example how Will Smith is always ninety percent Will Smith. Uh, he's managed to pull off serious roles like uh, what's it called really well the the one everyone memes uh, where where he's a, he's a struggling father. Shoot, oh, yeah. uh, 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 pursuit, uh, pursuit of pursuit happiness. happiness. Pursuit yeah, of yeah. happiness. So you know, ten percent he could actually pull off a great performance when he when he really wants to, but the rest of the time people just say, yeah, just do your thing, and he's Will Smith. Right. So right. it's kind of the same with Jamie Foxx. You're right. And uh, until, I guess, Jamie Foxx shows us that he could be Spawn, which he, he'll attempt to anyway, whether we want to him, you know, whether we want to or not, because we don't really have a say. Uh, until he could show us he could do it, you know, people will doubt this movie. Right. Now, I, and I'm, I'm more curious on, like, what Spawn actually 
Like I've watched the, like some of the older movies, which I thought were kind of cool, but I'm not familiar with like his comics at all. Mm-hmm. But I, it'd be kind of interesting to see that, but then again, I, I can kind of see them like it's trying like, a funny twist. Spawn is so '90s. It's so edgy. No, right. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I don't know. So the... it's like getting getting it rebooted now feels not that good to me, and and then the actors not. Really, the right pick. I feel, I feel so I'm just like, way. hey, you don't know, you don't know, exactly. no, man. Exactly. Maybe double negatives might be a good movie. <laughs> Two wrongs will I, make a right. I feel the same way as as Jamie becoming Spawn is the same feeling as I feel as Channing Tatum being Gambit. That's the oh, same boat. Like, snap! Don't think it's gonna. I just think it's different for the type of stuff they do. It's just not, mm-hmm. or even, or at least if they're gonna do that, like slowly ease into it. Don't just boom, like do this. It's just kind of, yeah. I don't know. But I like Excuse I like Rob, your though. yeah I like your Chris Pratt analogy though that Chris Pratt went from straight up comedy to Star Lord, but part of it is also because Star Lord had to be it's funny, so... right? It's it, I mean he, he plays the same guy in all of his movies, <laughs> but, but... Right. which is like, but I feel like that fits Star Lord. I mean, no, I don't read Guardians yeah. a lot. I'm not sure, but I've heard from people that read comic that that the the per- character is similar. And, I think and that's it, also it where good. the writing comes in, where James Gunn wrote this Star Lord to be perfectly cast uh, by by Chris Pratt. Like, uh, if 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 Star Lord was written to be a serious character, then yeah, they they could have gone a different way. But because they wrote him so well to 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 be played by Chris Pratt, then you know people saw it as a seamless transition. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And, oh, so uh... yeah. Yeah, go for it. It's just extra news. Like two hours ago, they announced that Jeremy Renner joint is gonna join the Spawn movie alongside Jamie Foxx. So, oh yeah, yeah. I like Jeremy. I like Jeremy Renner. So maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm kind of on the same boat as you guys. Until he does this, we don't really have much reason to believe that it, it's gonna be good. Aside from the fact that the writer and creator of Spawn, Todd McFarlane, is the one helming this movie. So, <laughs> if anyone can get the best out of the character, it's the guy who made the character. Right. So, no, okay. Yeah. I Fingers crossed. Man, but seriously, do you, do, you, do you want Jamie Foxx to be Spawn? I don't really want to Literally spawn search anyway. his name on Google right now, and it's the most ridiculous thing. See, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's what I was kind of saying. He just you, His weird stuff is like what he's known for in his singing. Yeah. Like, you put a singer in yeah. a role that's serious, it's like weird. It's like... Yeah. Oh wait! You mean like Wolverine? Uh, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Hugh Jackman is a great actor, though. Jack Valjean. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not like he made a thing for himself, you know. But I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like that's it's like yeah with that Chris Pratt thing. I, that's exactly how I feel. I mean, yeah. I think speaking of that too, aren't, aren't they like? Aren't, isn't Guardians three about to be done like soon? Yeah, the, the script actually has already... Like, uh, James Gunn tweeted out uh, a photo of the script, so I think they're just about wrapping up shooting, I think? Can, can, can someone cool. verify that? Yeah. Which is kind of like... It's kind of like... like I feel like posting that gives away a lot about Avengers coming up. Like, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's, they right? survive. It's, it's probably just... It's, it's just Rocket doing things. That's it. That's Guardians. That's true. I, I don't know. That's true. They, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Oh. Doing things. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll take that back. They haven't. They haven't done filming. He just finished the script, so that's what's. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So and I, I, I know I, I took a photo of that somewhere. I got, I got a photo of that. Maybe it's not that. Then. I mean, like yeah. at least it doesn't like you know raise questions like who survives and. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. But here we go. Well, we all know Gamora is coming back, right? Why is Gamora? <laughs> That's my favorite, my favorite line. And Again. I heard that was totally improvised too, which is even better. Like, yeah, man, like, but Jesus that found his. Me. I told you that. that. You heard did you that? Tell, from did me? you tell I... me that? Yeah, I told you in the group <laughs> chat. I, I, I apologize. I totally forgot that you told me that. I thought I read it. He, he heard. I just love the memes, like the thirteen reasons why I go more. I'm just like, come on. Just... <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I saw, I, hold on. I gotta see if this. I, no, I have a new phone. I actually saved the picture, but it was like a, it had like pictures on a line, just like the thirteen reasons why. But like it was like a picture of Gamora, and then you see Drax in the back. I'm like looking down, like it was just so funny. It was really funny. 
is hilarious. And DZ okay. in the chat says maybe that's why Hawkeye was in Inf Infinity War because Image bought the rights. Uh, <laughs> man. Okay, so yeah. Uh, in other reboot news, oh man, this is an episode about reboots. Uh, well, actually, this is a sequel, supposedly a spinoff. So Ooh. turns out shooting oh. has begun on a new Men in Black movie, and it's a spinoff that stars. Very familiar names. You guys might know them. Uh, Chris Hemsworth? I don't know. He's, he's like some s small indie actor. Chris Hemsworth? Oh, I think, hold on, Chris. Um, yeah, I think he was in that weird Norse mythology movie or something. Yeah, and then he was even... He was Thorn even or something like, like that. Uh, Thorn. Yeah, Thorn. And then he was even in that uh, Ghostbusters movie. <laughs> oh, that, that movie is great. Yeah, typical struggling actor. Uh, That's this right. <laughs> Hopefully this movie will bring him back up. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a <laughs> so, uh, Yeah, so here's here's a shot of him, courtesy of DigitalSpy.com uh, and PA Images. And mm. yeah, so he's going to be joined in the movie by Tessa Thompson, who we know from, yeah, who who we know as a Valkyrie from, from Thor Ragnarok. Uh, who else is in this oh. movie? Yeah, there are a bunch of names, actually. I'm trying to look for the... Liam Neeson? Wait, wait, so yeah, Liam Neeson. Oh, my God. That's going to be so cool. Wait a minute. Yeah. So, wait. Thor and her are going to be in both in Men in Black? Yeah, yeah. And Liam Neeson, well, that's too. Kind of funny. I feel like the memes are going to be going crazy with that because they're also in Thor 3. It was gonna... Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just surprised they're not rebooting it and just calling it Women in Black and just having an all-woman cast. <laughs> I think they would still be called Men in Black. That's kind of like a sexist universe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what are you, what are it, 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 wouldn't, it wouldn't be about shooting aliens and things, you know? Oh my god, they're going to be shooting aliens. That's so not timely. Also, Wancho, why does it have to be woman in black? Right? Why do they have to be identified? Couldn't, couldn't they just be human in black? Huh? Oh my yeah, god, you're right. Oh, the I'm person. So no, you can't because they have the word sons in there. I forgot that, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. God. Yeah. Individuals in black. There you go. Yeah. I, 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 B. I, I, B. The next I, I, B. Eep. 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 So it turns Eep. out, uh, struggling actor Chris Hemsworth will be playing Agent H. So I guess Ooh. I'm in the next movie, guys. Yeah. H. So there's Agent J and Eep. there's K. Where's I? There it Where's is. I? Eep. I told you. Eep. It's I, B. I, B. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Okay, real quick, what are your thoughts on this? I I didn't think I wanted this, but now that Hemsworth is attached to it and seeing how funny he could actually be in Ragnarok and in that Ghostbusters movie, I think you could I think, he, I think he's a good star to have in this film. To Dude, lead this Liam film. Neeson's there, you know? It's yeah, like right? it's the same formula as the original Men in Black. You have like that super serious guy and you're gonna have a wacky dude. So that's that's the formula, right? Yeah, you got Liam Neeson's? Liam Neeson's in this band? <laughs> I'd, I'd watch anything with Liam Neeson. You will kill hey. them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just all... yeah. Oh my god. I, I... The, the, the aliens kidnap his daughter, and you're like, oh god. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then Chris Hemsworth gets like an electric gun. It like. Oh like, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> oh. Le I'm actually Liam excited Neeson. for it. I, I actually haven't seen Ghostbusters, so I don't know how funny Chris. I almost said Pratt. Oh, Chris uh, Hemsworth was in there. I, oh, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, but I, yeah, so... I, 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 mean, I wanted to watch his... Anyone watch his fish, like the Moby Dick kind of version of a movie? Hemsworth oh, is yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but I did want to see it when the trailer came out. I totally forgot about it's, that movie. Yeah, is that out? I think it was. I just never got to watch it. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was out. Which but yeah, is, uh... I, I actually think Chris Hemsworth is, he can do both. I mean, they kind of, that's the thing I like about Marvel. They kind of like throw in both. Like, you know what I mean? They have the humor, but they have the yeah, serious yeah. side. So you can see them both doing it. So it's not that weird for him to be a funny guy or a serious guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm definitely with you. Fingers crossed, man. I really want this to work. <laughs> right. No, exactly. Oh, I didn't wow, know I wanted it to work. 2015. I need to watch this. I want to watch this. Yeah, let's watch this. Let's watch this. Oh, no, uh, the heart of the sea. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I want to see the heart movie. Dick the movie. Sea, that's... Yeah. Uh, yar. All right. So, 
in other news, guys, going back to our childhood, you know, we're, we're doing a lot of nostalgia stuff today. Spawn, I guess. Uh, Men in Black. But uh, Keenan and Kel, guys. Keenan and Kel. Uh, who have been sort of reuniting in, in web stuff recently, the past couple of years. Uh, they're going to be on Double Dare. They're going to be on Double Dare. Uh, a special episode of Double Dare this year, I think. And they're going to be teaming up. So... Oh! The, the, yeah, the oh, news dude. I got from this that is Double like Dare is butt. back. I am not going to lie. I thought that was a butt. <laughs> but it was a yeah, no. Have you seen Double Dare? Did you guys watch Double Dare growing up? Oh, Isn't I, that like... That, is that, that's a girl from Vine. Thing? Lisa... Oh, what's her last name? That girl, that, that right there, that girl that's like... I think she's like... I'm, I, I don't want to be racist, but I'm pretty sure she's uh, Indian. I, I'm almost 100% sure. I used to watch her on Vine all the time. She's hilarious. Mm -hmm. She's like very obnoxious character. Is she the host? I, I've actually never watched the show, to believe it or not. Yeah, I think this this reboot is uh, she is the host, and yeah, I, I didn't That's... even know that Double Dare was back, and this just makes me want all the old game shows back, like Legends of the Hidden Temple, which I thought was coming back oh, when they had man. the movie come out, but nothing happened after that. And I want guts back. I want global guts back. Right? <laughs> yeah, global guts. Global guts. Man, I can't remember that. Good times. Good times. But yeah, I think I think it'll be good. I think. I mean, it looks funny, and I think it'd be good for kids, you know? I feel like, I'm not going to lie, I feel like kid shows these days are kind of... They on, really are. Like, what are There's like a handful of good stuff. I'm sorry, right why don't you watch this Peppa Pig? I forgot. No, I'm <laughs> I, I do I do watch Peppa Pig with Aiden sometimes. Before. Oh, you but, do? I feel like this is a good, <laughs> like, live, like, kids television show, you know what I mean? Excuse my wife. Yeah, dude. Time. <laughs> That's the whole reason why kids' television is bad now, because of all the live things Nickelodeon and Disney has been pushing. Yeah. Oh, no, too. Well, it's it's good part cartoons, of it. man. But some of yeah, the cartoons was... that they've been putting out aren't that good. <laughs> like, a lot of the cartoons they're putting out aren't that good. Hey, hey, hey. Steven Universe is good. But uh, that's not for kids. It's for us. Amazing World of Gumball is good. Like, like Cartoon Network has been, like, spot on lately recently yeah they've been well, really nothing good. nothing good from like disney channel or nickelodeon but cartoon network like they're giving animators a chance you know what yeah. show what like what network is double dare on is it, like nickelodeon or is it nickelodeon. like nickelodeon oh yeah. is it i'm gonna say like you know like hbo doesn't do a lot of kid shows i feel like they should have or try to do like or <laughs> some HBO, other like, is there hbo kids yeah, there, there is no idea. There you just do it out is there. there really? You hear that, HBO? It's like, <laughs> it's like they're, they're, they're probably thinking, man, if we can't show them boobs or violence, what do we show kids? You know, I know. When, when exec is like, why can't we show them boobs and violence? <laughs> oh, like game, not Game of Thrones, but it'd be Game of Playground or something like, like uh, <laughs> playground. Playground throws wife just. Had a good idea. Playground. Yeah, bring, bring Chloe up on that lower right screen. Bring, bring okay. Chloe up. On... <laughs> say hi. They all heard you. Come on in. Hi. They want to say hi to you. She's coming. She's, she's fixing herself. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, right, we'll get her so on the post show. He's just we'll going to say hi real quick. <laughs> Next couple of hours then. Oh, no. Hi, Chloe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Next couple yeah. of hours. Playground of Thrones. Oh, like, speaking, speaking of Game of Thrones, they have a better iconic couple than John and Egret, though. Oh yeah, our next I'll bit wait. of news. Yeah, I don't mean to. I'll wait. I, I don't mean to skip over Diego's thing, but this we you know that was a perfect transition. Real quick, uh, Diego said uh, XQC uh, in the words of XQC, kids kids shows today are Uh And Diego also did uh, the classiest of of type emojis, you know, in, in the Twitch chat. So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, like the two eyeballs looking. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, two two like, eyeballs that, looking up. That guy has like weird hair. Yeah. <laughs> he has like a weird nose, too. I think it's an owl. Yeah. Classy. Classy. Yeah, it's an owl with the wings going like, whoo, 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 whoo. And uh, Jay Z time, uh, our friend Justin in the chat says, Global Guts is <laughs> aggro crag. Looks like it could kill a kid. <laughs> I'm surprised <laughs> and glad no one died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. Uh, I, I really know. wanted to climb up that. I, I was so scared because it looked steep. It looked steep. So uh, Dude, I, I want to try that as an adult. Me, the, the, the people grabbing you in Legends of Hidden Temple, I was terrified of those guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, the temple guards, you were freaking Yeah, imagine you're trying to make this golden monkey and some guy just hugs you from behind. Silver monkey? Excuse you. Oh, I just thought the SN, okay. like, didn't SNL do, like, skits or, like, make fun of that sometime? Like, I think those are hilarious, by the way. Yeah, yeah, too. definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Some of the bright hilarious. spots in, in the recent SNL <laughs> episodes. Um, right, when, when, right. Yeah. Actually, I, I do want to give props to, to Lauren Michaels and everyone at SNL, because as much as people rag on how not funny SNL has been, it's hard, man. Like, it's really oh, yeah. hard to do what they do. Yeah, like bring up new content like every time. They've been doing it for years now. Yeah, long time. Since I was there, I'm, I'm it's surprised great. SNL didn't get like canceled or something. It's like yeah. it's I like uh, it wasn't that funny, but it's like some of it is funny, but then it's mm, like whose line? Like obviously they're not gonna, you know, they only have so much. Whose line yeah. was the Oscar show? But they had to. I mean, they came back. I actually haven't watched a lot of the new ones, but um, yeah. It's hard well, to come up with stuff, man. It really is. And as much as I love Aisha Tyler as Lana Kane on Archer, she is not good as the Who's Line host. She's too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do Wait, you know who's... that that like that rated R SNL show that got canceled? Like it's kind of like SNL. Oh really? Uh, Mad TV. I don't know. No, no, it's not. It's not SNL, but it's like light SNL. But it's like was more. It, was it Mad TV? Vulgar. Mad TV. Yeah, I yeah, like that yeah. way more. I like that way more. But they have that on know, like YouTube, though, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. That, that's how we got Keen Peel. Was they they got rejected yeah, yeah, yeah. for SNL, and you know, Matt TV is like, hey, come to us. Right, I know, and I think Will Ferrell does a lot of stuff on Matt TV, doesn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did for right. for, for yeah once or twice. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, I remember seeing some of this stuff. That's like what I usually remember when I think of that. But. And Bobby Lee, we got we got Bobby Lee Bobby from Mad TV. Lee. <laughs> Bobby Lee, yeah. Bobby. oh right, yeah. All right, Bobby, we're gonna do some CGI and uh. Yeah, that's the best one. The <laughs> great, you're getting stabbed in the back. Oh, uh, just, uh, uh, yeah. uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, that now the blood good. is all over your face. You you love the blood. You're, you're drinking the blood. <laughs> that guy's great, man. That guy's awesome. Yeah. That guy. Uh, Justin in the chat said Bobby Lee was a guy. That dude did stuff that what? a lot of people would turn down. You know, like what, what's he doing now? Why is he? I know. Like, I was about to ask that. What happened to him, dude? Like, why is he not like super popular? I saw him on a radio show clip on YouTube, and people yeah, like, were calling his girlfriend out for being a gold digger. I don't know if she is. <laughs> like, if if you guys want to look that up, like that's that's something that's out there. So, dude, oh, and uh, I feel like. Yeah, what's, what's up, Wancha? The last time I saw Bobby Lee, he was hosting Equals 3. That happened, right? What's what? Equals Did 3? he really? Yeah, he hosted Equals 3 for, like, one show. What's Equals 3? Equals... What? Equals 3? Watch out. Yeah, oh, the web series? You don't know? With, with, with Ray William, William Johnson? William? Ray, Not, William, Ray, oh, William. Oh, Ray William Johnson? Only the biggest name on YouTube back then. Yeah, he was actually, like, the number one YouTube subscriber for, like, like three years like in a row, I'm pretty sure. He's at 9.9 .9 million subscribers right now. No, he had, like, that and That was, like, back when he was still, like, going. So uh -huh. it was, like, no, he he had, he did, it was, like, a Tosh.0 type thing, but his is way funnier. I, like, oh, okay. Ray William Johnson was yeah, Tosh.0 is not really that funny. <laughs> no, that, like, that, Ray William Johnson is way funnier. He had, like, the... It was like funny because it was like the stupidest like things he would say, but it was just hilarious. And oh, I can't believe you never heard of it, man. It was an awesome show. Me and yeah. me and Watcha watched that like religiously. It was funny. Obviously, you guys didn't you didn't you didn't show it to me in college, so I'm, I'm kind of resentful about that. I, I just assumed everyone knew about equal <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, obviously we're not. Obviously, we're not three people that are equal in this conversation. So yeah, we're we're, we're it's less. Not, than it's not three. our fault you lived under a rock. Okay. <laughs> not yeah, right here. Fault. This is what, he, he always did that. This is equals three, and I'm William Johnson. That's what he always did. Yeah, that's, I, yeah, that's I good. I miss that guy, man. I like that. Oh. I can't do that with quit stalling. This is, this is quit stalling. There you go. <laughs> I'll be the SUV <laughs> too. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I'll be the rotating thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, last thing from Justin. Uh, he said Bobby Lee is tank was my favorite. Bobby Lee is tank. Oh, tank. Don't take the boats. <laughs> that was gold. Okay, back to back to the the really sweet segue that Derek had. 
Uh, John Snow and Igor got married. Yes. So good for I them. I love that. I love that. That's awesome. It was, it was like the only is the only happy went wedding that's Seriously. related to Game of Thrones. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Not a red wedding at all. Probably white. Legit. Yeah. Well, uh, it's the only one so far. <laughs> so in. In other news, guys, I, I, I want to bring this up because this, this might be a, a long topic, so I want to get this out of the way. Uh, turns out Jared Leto, uh, as the Joker, is getting a, getting a movie. And this is on top of the other movie, the other Joker movie that supposedly uh, Leo DiCaprio and I think Spielberg are attached to. What happened? I thought this was going to be released a lot sooner because they've hinted well see now that's why i say this is because i'm pretty sure ben affleck is stepping down as batman which is sad i, I like yeah him. A lot of it's like 90 like percent sure I like yeah but i liked him as batman and i like that like yeah right and i mean they kind of hinted it in suicide squad where he was fighting on top of the car i thought that was kind of cool but now i don't know if it's gonna happen it's gonna be uh possibly who was it again that was cast? Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. No, uh, the, he he. It was disproved that Gyllenhaal was gonna be Batman. He he said no. He turned. Hey, good. Yeah. I don't think he would be. I like Jake. Don't get me wrong, but you know, not Batman. Should still yeah, be Ben. Yeah, same. Yeah. Black man. <laughs> Come on, half black man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I thought I thought. Just yeah, like, video so... Was so sad, man. With those reviews, and he's just sitting but, there like anyway, like. How would a how would a Joker movie even work? Yeah, that's the thing, right? So, uh, I don't know. It it's weird because they're not just doing a Joker movie with Leto. They're doing one or two or maybe even three, and they're not really? in the same universe, which is just confusing. Like I I really think Warner Brothers is just throwing spaghetti on the wall and seeing what sticks. Dude, that's fine. Having three Joker movies at the same time that's totally Joker. When is when is he ever the same? You know? Now that you put it that way, but I, I feel like this in Joker fact, is a little different, though, right? His in the Joker DC was universe, little... aren't there like multiple Jokers? Yeah, there are. That is true. There's, there's the that's DC true. comics. There's multiple Jokers. No, that's true. That's true. Or something, right? That's true. So hey, 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 no, no. <laughs> All right. I mean, so you guys are okay with watch. this? I just hope there's like, I mean, if it's just like probably him and Harley Quinn, I would assume oh. like. Well, yeah, Harley Quinn is getting her yep. own movie uh, with the Birds Robbie? of Prey. Marco, is it Robbie? Was it Robbie? Yeah, Bargo. Margot Robbie. Is it right? Is it right? It's it's Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Okay, switched around. Yeah, but that's what I thought. I mean, I, I thought their connection was good in Suicide Squad. It wasn't people. bad. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't bad. Mm. Wait, want, I think Wancho was saying, was it Suicide Squad kind of like Joker movie in a way? Was that you know, like him? It's like, for some reason, Joker had like thirty, like thirty minutes of screen time, or something like that. And supposedly, yeah, a lot of that was completely cut. not related to Suicide Squad. So he might as well had like a little TV show inside his inside the movie. <laughs> yeah, and right. I think that that plays off of what you were saying earlier, Wancho, where too many studios are just trying to build universes and it's not working. Mm. Yeah, uh, I think I agree with that. Yeah, I think. Uh, in terms of having multiple Joker movies being Jokery, I think that's I think you just kind of shed light on that, and I think I'm okay with it now. But I just think DC and Warner Brothers need to regroup, continue yeah, with the, no, a second things. Justice League movie after the Aquaman movie. But you know, instead of forgetting, instead of like ditching everything and saying, "All right, we failed. Let's not do it anymore," just Sit down, take your time. Don't release it in three years. Take your time and figure out what went wrong the first time, and then just give us a good sequel. And then everyone will forget. Everyone will just say, "Okay, it was just a setup to this." Right, and they did good. They did great with Wonder Woman. Like, I don't know why they can't hone around that and just you know touch up on it. I I feel like they did good with Wonder Woman because Wonder Woman was its own movie. There was that, like no true, hint true, though. for anything. I mean that. They just need patience, you know. That, that's 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 what was cool with Marvel was you, you didn't expect it to be universe, and then just when someone pops up, it's cool. But oh then yeah, when exactly. It's, when something is forced to be, 
related to everything else. It, it just ruins it for me. I don't know. Yeah, and that's that that key word that we always say, and what people always say with DC Universe is force. Like they they're forcing everything. They forced two origin stories in one movie, and Cyborg and I guess Steppenwolf in in uh, mm -hmm. the Justice League movie. So it's like, come on, like having yeah, the villain. Did show up in in the team up movie and having the story fleshed around him in the team up movie is kind of the standard now with thanos and and ultron uh showing up in the marvel universe again and it's hard not to compare it to the marvel movies i know people are going to groan about that but it's because the marvel movies were successful that people keep comparing it to them if dc did it a different way that worked then you know the comparison would be less drawn out but the fact that marvel has have succeeded and dc hasn't it's 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 hard not to compare them it's because yeah i i agree with wancho too in, in that aspect that they took their time like it's i want like i think marvel cinematic universe has a 10-year anniversary now yeah and they're trying to cram it all in like two or three and like i mean come on we've we've watched like you know honestly and it's when all these theories came out that i honestly remembered how long the movies were around like yeah. when someone pointed out that the veterans were the only ones left alive you know yeah and i'm like oh you know what that Spoiler is, alert. that's crazy like at the, they've been making these movies for 10 years like and i remember in and i watched uh i remember why i don't know why i watched an old clip of the the uh who was that norton who played the hulk edward norton yeah edward norton right and at the end that's when they were just starting to recruit the avengers like you know what I mean? Like that was like the start of the waiting to the end. Like you see Samuel Jackson, like, hey, I have a, I'm turning together a team, or you know, like, whoa, yeah, that yeah. was like ten years ago. Yeah. Like, damn, that was a long time ago. See that? Yeah. And here they're just like, Justice League, it's coming. Like, <laughs> you're like, what? <laughs> okay. Exactly. Like introducing the Batman in our universe. His his <laughs> his origin story are opening credits. I mean, we yeah. all know <laughs> the guys die. Exactly. So opening yeah, credits yeah. is all you get. Right? Oh, <laughs> man. Like watch the Iron Man three and the you know what I mean? Yeah, Suck, but we important too. You know, what I'm saying? exactly. So gotta have. Yeah, before you had the team up movie, aka Justice League, you had multiple movies establish establishing stories for characters. You had Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, First Avenger, right, and then. You had the heroes that didn't need to be fleshed out too much show up, like Hawkeye, uh, Scarlet, uh, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow was already sh uh, shown in Iron Man. And, you know, when you have these heroes, the agents, they, they don't need heavy backstory like the ones with powers do. So it, it worked. Oh, right. And do you guys remember when Hawkeye made his first appearance? Oh, yeah, yeah. In, uh, in Thor. When he, when yeah. He had, when I just Bo, remember so... that, yeah. I just remember, like... They showed like the bow and arrow, and was like, "Oh, that's Hawkeye. Yeah, <laughs> that's him." Right? So, so, dude, I don't even remember that. No, yeah, he had the. They were like, I think he's, they referenced like a nest or something, or maybe that was a different. No, that was Avengers One, but I remember they talked about him and the, the bow and arrow, and then everyone kind of put the two into together, like, "Oh, that's Hawkeye," because they say Clint and. Yeah. Like, Dang, Clint see the down. first Thor. Like, how long ago was that? Like, that was a long time ago. Right. So they. You know, this is what Marvel does: is they layer, they layer stuff, so that later on, when they call back, people, people will lose their shit, and then, you know, it all ties in together. And yeah, I guess, yeah, to 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 prevent us from going through a one hour discussion about this game, yeah, exactly. We we could just take your time, take your time with these, <laughs> like stop making them cash grabs. Seriously, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's better if you take your time. And, you know, uh, we're talking about sequels. We're talking about multiple franchises. How to Train Your Dragon 3 is coming out next year. And we got the promo images. We got the trailer a year in advance, as they always do, as DreamWorks always does. And why? And it looks good. All of this. <laughs> I like, teared the, up on the trailer. I, I, I end up upset. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, it's so good. They, they've, they've built a universe with patience. Uh, and oh yeah, oh yeah, man, is it paying off? Wancho, man, uh, you, you're making faces. I'm not sure if you like How to Train Your Dragon or not because he I think loves we it. talked I about it. Yeah, no, I dude, think we I, talked I, about I it love, being I've, good. I watched How to Train Two with Derek. He did. In, uh, 
in Aura. First, in, 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 what do they call like that? The, the Atmos. Aura sound. You, Atmos. You can yeah, hear Atmos. the dragons flying around. Dude, your that was like so. I know they're like. Shh. It was so yeah, horrific. dude. I watched it. I watched two in 4DX, and they had like that was when they were still refining it. So I had like this oh my God, squirting all, in front of me. Sounds cool. That it was good. Cool. Oh, you, it was good. You like that? You, the oh, soundtrack. Yeah, you like that? It yeah. was okay. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, the soundtrack, <laughs> the trailer beautiful. soundtrack, and the in movie soundtrack, really good sound design. And you know, now that we've got the the looks at How to Train Your Dragon three. I, I gotta say, I think they're continuing it. Real quick, the spoiler is... Uh, Holy spoiler alert! I am sad that we're not getting more of Hiccup's dad, but yeah. we, we're also not really seeing much of his mom in the trailer, so I, don't, I wonder if she'll factor yeah. into this. Let me let me make something clear. Like, I when I watched with Wancho, I think that was my second time watching. I No, no, no. No, I watched with Wancho the first time. The second time I watched it on Father's Day... And I didn't realize that I did. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I called my dad like right after. I was like, hey, dad, how's it going? I was like, <laughs> it's, and then it's I watched those the movies. Right. And I mean, I watched the, okay. So I watched the second time with Hans and Rico. So like it was, we all kind of like, you know, like emotionally experienced that together. It was kind of, but the Atmos, man, that, nothing beats that. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, the How to Train Your Dragon series is that kind of movie that makes you want to call your parents after and check in on them. That's right. when when a movie like Disney movies can make you feel that way, you know they're onto something good. They're evoking the emotions that that should right. be evoked, it, and they're they're pulling it, it out of you. I, I I said I swear I said that watching the third movie, there's gonna be a white one. I swear I've told I told a lot of people this, <laughs> and and. and <laughs> Night, night, yeah, night you, 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 you call, he called it the light like calm. calm. Moon calm. Oh, oh no, day calm. That's right. See, you remember day it's calm. It's day calm. Complete opposite of night fury. So it'd be day calm. Day calm. <laughs> oh man. So you have you guys seen the the trailer and the promos for for three? Just the trailer, I think. Man, it looks, it looks beautiful. Oh, it it's beautiful. Yeah, it does. They, they've made it Avatar. Like, they've, they've just taken it a step higher, and they just added so much more. I know. it's. I'm, I'm more sad that it's the last one. But oh, Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's also a good move. You know, like, you don't want to continue it like, too long, like we were talking about earlier. You don't want to drag on stuff too long. So, I don't get it. Exactly. Drag on, drag on. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught that one. No, but, yeah, it looks... Oh, my god. Oh, my god. I was, like, trying to think of something serious, too, Garrett. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. No, but yeah, I, I I'm excited to see what uh, what uh, oh my God, Toothless can do. I couldn't think of his name for a second. I just oh. I just think it's great when you see yeah. character progression in cartoons. When you see yeah. an actual cartoon character grow up, I, exactly. I, I just always think it's great. You know, initially for me it was like changing clothes, but now like I'm 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 past that. I'm I'm past just changing clothes. I want to see them grow up and age and mature. And even yeah. have, like, not shallow relationships. You know, like, seeing the nuance in, in relationships. I'm saying nuance a lot today. Oh, nice. I got this in Singapore. I had to get it. It's That's adorable. On the cup. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, for those of you listening to the audio version of the podcast, uh, Derek uh, is holding up a, a really nice mug on screen, and it's toothless peeking in to the side. And he's a handle pretty much, right? I've never drank out of this just because I don't want to ruin, you know, the, yeah. the cup. Yeah. But I just put coins in there. <laughs> but that's yeah. it. <laughs> uh, Diego in the chat uh, says, the sun went down pretty fast on Derek's uh, side. Uh, yeah, it oh, really did. Oh, my wife like... turned off the light because she was going to bed, but she she put her, like, night mask on because she she supports my lifestyle. And I, love, oh. I love you, babe. Thanks yeah, for that. We... And then she put the lights back on because she knows I'm dark and you can't see me against the light. <laughs> Or against the darkness. I mean, you, I, mean I just blend in. <laughs> we, we are running a bit long, so we'll, we'll try and get through this. Uh, Diego also said, Hiccup with his facial hair looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. That's exactly what my wife said. She said the same thing. Yeah, he does kind of like Jake Gyllenhaal. Or... Uh, the other guy, uh, the one who wanted or to be just a fantastic. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. She didn't say Jake Gyllenhaal. It was uh, Jim from The Office. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Jim from The Office. Oh, yeah, yeah, so... yeah, yeah. He does look like Jim. Uh, yeah, with his, his name? beard when he has a beard. 
Why can't I uh, think of his name? John Kaczynski. Kaczynski, yeah. Yeah, John Kaczynski. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I, I am so looking forward to this. Uh, I honestly didn't feel that good about the the, the Daycom, but the, the, the White Knight Fury. <laughs> but, you know, as long looks, as the whoa. rest of the movie is good, I, I don't mind. Oh, I know. It looks, it looks awesome. Like, just that aspect that it teleports through. I, I can't wait to see what else Toothless can do. Honestly, that, oh, that's yeah. going to be even better. Because remember, like the end just, of two, you're like, whoa. You're like, what? He's the alpha. They just keep unlocking his powers as he levels up. <laughs> Dude, Toothless is a Pokemon. I know, right? Seriously. I watched it too, like, a couple weeks ago with my wife because she kind of didn't remember. So but that was sad to re-experience uh, oh, with man, Stoic. Uh, stop with Stoic. 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 Oh, he was so good, too. He was like the... I wouldn't say the perfect dad, but he was such a good dad. You know, he wanted the best for Hiccup, and he lost his wife, but he still managed to stay cheerful and managed to rule I, over his village. That's so good. good. It's so, this movie seems... It's, so, uh, stop being uh, stoic. Sorry. Okay. So, guys, uh, we'll save the rest of the news for, for the next show, and because we got to wrap things up. But before we wrap things up, we do have to talk about the movies that we missed. Uh, so we got to talk about Solo and Deadpool briefly. Uh, and we have a soundbite for Ooh, this, as go. we always do. We're doing like reviews? Me... Yeah, we're going to do a quick yeah. review. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, let's do this. What's... Uh... Here we go. Uh... Yeah, it's time for Movie Recap. All right, Movie Recap go. is brought to you by Game Bite. Tomorrow night, Wednesday, 9.30 p.m., no guests, just news. Game bite. Diego, Harold, Mick. Game bite. 9.30 p.m. Philippine Santa Time. 5.30 a.m. California. All right, guys. Oh, oh, it's time for movie recap. And, you know, let's talk about Deadpool very briefly because it was more of the same for me. It was it was great. Yeah. Uh, they, they didn't divulge, uh, divert too much from the formula, the winning formula. And, you know, it wasn't as good as the first one for me. But I want to get your opinions first before I get too far. You can go ahead. I want to you start first. Deadpool 2 is just Deadpool 1, but replace trying to get the girl with trying to get a family. Oh. <laughs> That's it. That's exactly Deadpool 2. Because everything else is just jokes in between him being alone and him getting what he wants. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> And but, I, I agree. I, I thought, yeah, I thought the it was similar to the first one. Humor was the same. Like, it was a good movie. There would be nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's the same formula. It worked out before. It worked out again. But yeah, I agree. Watch a lot of the same kind of the same uh, plot. Just like, he got what he wanted and at the end. It's like, well, I mean, the ending was kind of strange, too. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, he can, what? what's the uh, limitation now on what he can do? Yeah, they Dude, just retcon everything at the end. Yeah, is that canon? That, that's hilarious. That's, it that is was canon. Funny, though. It's canon. It's canon, so no oh, one, nothing bad ever happened. That's yeah, canon. they pretty much just fixed everything that's, thanks that's to awesome. Cable's that's time traveling. Like that. So see, it's now so he can try to travel back to, like, if ever, like we said earlier, they buy Fox. Disney. Yeah. I mean, yeah. All right. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think it's so Deadpool the fact that they just undid the whole movie at the end of the movie. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. So, and I love Ryan Reynolds. I'm biased dude, already. I, he's like my, <laughs> one of my favorite actors. You like, love that guy. So and I was two guys and a girl. Chick, like, best oh. friends was like one of my favorite movies. Yeah, j just friends. Um, What was yeah. the one where, uh, yeah, yeah, where yeah. he went back to his like exes of, of past? Like his Christmas exes of past? Like the... Yeah. yeah. All, all of that. girlfriend past something yeah like yeah that. that's that's the one that's the one so i i like i mean he, see that's i told everybody that he ryan Reynolds is a perfect example of you doing funny and serious like he was in blade i think it was in blade three right or two <laughs> he regrets it but he's oh, just pretty he was, kind of, yeah. like right and i mean and i liked how they kept like that same humor and even when they were trying deadpool for the first time in x-men wolverine origins yeah. like, i thought he did good i mean that yeah, he's he's a good guy. I like. I, I yeah. like Green Lantern. No, uh, I didn't. apparently he didn't because he also <laughs> shot it in the back in uh in the end of Deadpool two. <laughs> yeah, Dude, yeah, that was hilarious. Like, oh my god, that was funny. 
It's like, so good how self-aware it is. The jokes are on point. Just, that's it. That's, oh, all, yeah. that's yeah. all a Deadpool movie needs to be. It doesn't have to have a good story. It doesn't have to like create a universe or anything like that. It just has to have good jokes. That's it. And that's I think yeah. that's a new genre that they're pulling off like really well. Like, you know what I mean? That's like the story's just like mediocre if you think about it. Like, okay, he fought the bad guy and the bad guy becomes kind of good with him, and now he gets gets what he wants, even though he lost it all. It's, it's just kind of a basic storyline, I feel like. But then the yeah, like Wanda said, the jokes were on point. It was just hilarious. Actually, Although a lot of people didn't like the little kid for some reason, I, I the, guess. The basicness of the storyline is what prevents it from being a top movie of all time. But in spite of that, because of the humor, because of the cinematography, they managed to still make it a must see, even like on at home. Like even if you're just watching from a home, uh, when when it's released. For, for home, you know, it's something that you have to see because it, it, in spite of all the, the, the cheesiness and, you know, it, it's not the best writing, but it's good. The, the, the humor is great. It's something you can rewatch too. Like, I rewatched yeah. it on the airplane. Oh, Deadpool 1, anyway. Yeah, Deadpool but, 1, and, definitely. Uh, I thought it was, I thought, like, yeah, I'm still enjoying it, even though yeah. I, I, knew, I knew what joke was coming and all that. And I just love the, the fact that they killed X Force. Oh my God, that was hilarious. Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt the out of nowhere. Force. Yeah, I know. And just you know how like in the trailers, you you, you know like they're all they're really big in the trailers. The whole X Force thing is just, and that was actually just a gag. Yeah, no, I thought that was the I thought that was, really was just funny a setup. Too. Yeah, a gag. I thought that was awesome. And like they they throw a curveball. They're like, for example, by the way, I have one. They they throw the curveball. Terry Crews dies. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. I was just like, wow. Oh, and, uh, yeah. and the deaths were kind of funny. Like too. the biggest, the yeah. biggest character progression in the Deadpool movies is that Ren, uh, the not Ren, what's his name? A uh, Dopinder, the Dopinder. Uh, dope <laughs> he he goes from like a really meek taxi driver to a yeah to a kidnapper, and now he's a murderer, dude. He's now he's like, a murderer. With that I know, right? That progression, you know, it's like. Also, side note: Domino was character... hot. Sorry, Domino dude. was on fire. And I like her name. Like... Her name is like Zazzy Beats, but it's like said like Zazzy because she's like French or something. It's like I was like, damn, okay. Who? Who is I was that? like, oh, the girl who played Domino. Uh oh, the the, the... lucky one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Her I, I name like in real the... life is like Zazzy. It's spelled like Zazzy Beats, but you say it like Zazzy. I didn't know I, that, I but cool. yeah, I didn't know that's how you pronounce I, it. I like was, Yukiko yeah. more. I thought she was. Oh, that, yeah. that was cool. Yukio, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> yeah. Yukio. Hi, Deadpool. She, yeah, she's Those adorable. Guys age, like, fast, too. Like, I swear, like, right? I was like, damn. The other girl yeah. was, like, a little older. I was like, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, puberty, man. All right. So, final thoughts on Deadpool. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, guys. Final thoughts. Hmm. Ooh. That's, it's hard to scale it. I know. Do you do you want do you want to just pass? Do you want to not scale it? Should we just? I don't believe in solo? perfection, but I'll I'll give it a nine. <laughs> oh. I just never, like, okay. Well, I, I was a good movie, but it was funny. I wouldn't yeah. change anything. I thought it was good. Yeah, actually, for for what it was, you can't really change it and to uh, without altering what it is too much. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say eight, and then Deadpool one's a nine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm on the same boat. I'm on the same boat. Oh, man, man. To... All right. Okay. So lastly, guys, because we have other movies to talk about next week and you know, this upcoming episode. Uh, lastly, guys, Solo. Solo, a Star Wars movie. Uh, through all the troubles that Solo went through, uh, not not Han Solo in the movie, but the, the production of Solo, I think Ron Howard managed to take the helm and, you know, in soccer terms, they went from a 0-3 loss. And in the dying minutes of the, of the match, he managed to pull out a 3-3 draw. Like, uh, with all the, the, the bad pieces that he was given, I think he managed to, to pull it together and actually give us a decent movie that I think uh, received unwarranted criticism. Because it's a good movie. It. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts about this. I want to get your your takes first. It, it was a movie that was just destined to fail yeah. financially and story wise. So, despite all that, yeah, like what you said, 
despite all that, it still ended up being a good movie, but I still didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I think like... <laughs> Jesus! Why did you just I'll give, I'll give you my movie review. <laughs> no, I, I agree with Macho. Like, I went into it, like, really hyped. Like, believe it or not, I was really excited to watch it. I'm like, this looks okay. Actor's not too bad. But then when I watched it, I was like, oh, man, what? They messed this up kind of bad. Like, mm-hmm. the ending was cool. Like, the little secret ending to it was, like, awesome. Because yeah. I'm a big Sith lover. I love the dark side. And I thought that was sick. But, I mean, honestly, the thing that I only enjoyed was, like, the bond of Chewie and Han. I thought that was awesome. But, yeah. It I like, is, I like. I, I like wouldn't watch it again. How you, how, you, how you found out his name. Like, how he got his name solo. Cause right. Was, uh, right. 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 I, I, I thought that was, was kind of cute. <laughs> like little things that I liked about it, but overall, like yeah, I wouldn't. Like usually, I, if I like a movie a lot, I'll watch. I, and it's hard for me not to like not like watch a movie twice. It's, and I didn't want to watch this one twice. Yeah, it's because the movie is a heist movie. You know, the entire movie is a heist movie. Yeah, exactly. With no stakes, no stakes, because you know what happens. We all yeah. know he's gonna make the the Kessel run in like, was it, five parsecs? Less than right. four. And I, and I'm just happy I'm talking about this movie with you guys because some people don't understand. Like a lot of my, like people that I try to talk about this with, thought this movie was like before one. And I'm like, no, uh, you guys, there's, there's not that old. Literally an imperial blockade and tie yeah. fighters. That's after. <laughs> that's Vader's set time. Like, yeah, not that yeah. far before. Like I mean, I get what yeah. they're trying to say. Like maybe Harris Port looks old, but I mean, that's kind of yeah. Up. Like, I uh, mean. So- for me, uh, I'm borrowing this part, like this specific part from Fat Man on Batman, Kevin Smith's podcast. They they use the perfect terminology. They said ticking boxes. The movie felt like it was ticking boxes. Uh, Kessel Run, check. Han meeting Chewie, check. For some reason, Han getting his name, his surname, check. Like, right, that's, that's the way it was. Like, they crammed everything in. Uh, and I, I don't see the need for it. Like, why couldn't they just give us, okay, he already knows Chewie. Or if you're going to give us his intro to Chewie, don't cram everything else in. Don't put the Kessel Run right. there. No, I would have right, been right. fine with the Kessel Run remaining an off-screen mystery. Because that yeah, would have hyped yeah. it even more. He yeah, like, met Connie Lando yeah, exactly. in the same exactly. movie. Why does he have to meet Lando and then win the Falcon at the end? No, I agree. Like, I think the Han Chewy thing that they could have played that like the whole movie. Yes. Like, that would have been yes. cool to watch. Like, no, but yeah, you, you I, know, I, I agree with you said. You know what I want? I wanted to see, like, the part of the movie I really enjoyed was the random heist, the first one with the train, because <laughs> yeah. you don't know what's gonna happen there. I, I didn't oh, know what that's was gonna happen. Yeah. That, that, that they killed a heist. lot of people. Yeah, they and did. then they met people. <laughs> they lost friends. He got a mentor and all that. Yeah. Just some random adventure. Don't give me some bullshit that we've. I'm oh, sorry. No, 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 I no, no. Again, uh, it's just I'm yeah, really I, frustrated with that. I wanted some yeah. random adventure with Han Solo. Like, yeah, because we're not. We heard we're not the we heard same all the fan. stories why he's such a badass, but. Just, and I, we, I think we were more disappointed exactly. because Rogue One was so good. Yeah. And then you had this like after like. Really? Like, come on, guys. Yeah. You could have done better. And, it, and they just had to do it, like, right after The Last Jedi. Yeah. I like, know, right? I right? Think it, exactly. Part of what Wancho said that the movie was destined to fail was because the, the release schedule was so tight. Why did they have to release it this soon after? You know, it's not like we're Dude. getting episode nine at end of the year. Like, no, yeah, right, I know. Exactly. They, sh- they should have released it in November. The, the scheduling for it was terrible. It was it's not. It's not... It's not Han Solo's fault that they're not making money. It, yeah. It's competing with Avengers: Infinity War. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true and too. Deadpool too. That's true also. So yeah. what are you gonna watch? Like the normal person doesn't watch like, like, I, I like from what I heard, like a person watches a movie once every month, something like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah, and I agree. Like if you if you had to watch one movie a month, you're gonna watch Avengers: Infinity yeah. War. I Especially watch in America, where, push it. Yeah. where movies are expensive. Yeah, and if you're gonna push it, you're gonna watch Deadpool or something. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, for sure. Especially like be solo for sure. Yeah, especially kills, if kills. you're coming from, you're, you're coming from the Last Jedi, which you just watched. You're like, no, just watch Last yeah. Jedi. And 
I thought it was terrible. I'm watching another Star Wars. Right, you have, right, to, right. You have to make it make people forget about that first. You know, yeah. like push it and, to November. You know, I want to distance ourselves from from those fans that heckled the actors to the point that they had to leave social media, which I oh, am oh, appalled dude, by. Like that I, was terrible. That was, it's yeah, awful. That is crazy. I didn't realize. Like we were passionate. Like I want to say we're passionate about the movies. We love them, and we're criticizing certain parts. But at the end of the day, we're, I, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I, I kind of do at the same time. Uh, we're just happy that we're getting more Star Wars. But the reason why we're criticizing is because we, we love it so much that we hope that they do better. And this is what we, you know, we're, we're, we're giving our opinions because we, we kind of want better. Uh, we're not and saying I, we I, could do better. I agree. I don't yeah. think, and I think they're... I don't, it's not you guys personally, it's the character. It's, I think mm -hmm. that's something they need to understand too. Like, I don't hate yeah. the actors or actors. It's the character they play. It just kind of didn't yes. fit. It's nothing yes. to do with like them personally. Like, Daisy they're trying really... so hard. I mean, is anyone <laughs> ever going to say right. no to playing a starring role in a Star Wars right, right. movie? Right, Exactly. That's not their it, fault. It, I mean, if exactly. you're offered the role exactly. for something, to, to be something in Star Wars, you take it. Yeah. You know? And, oh, yeah, for sure. You know, it's, it's, again, it's not their fault that the writing is lacking. Uh, and, and you know, the way the film was cut was, you know, some lines might have come off as cheesy. Because they're trying their best. And I'm I'm sure even the writers are trying their best. It's just, it's not coming together as, as well as we would like. Right. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're trying a lot of new learn. stuff. I mean, this... God, like the last Jedi was the first movie to like literally pick up right from the last one. Like that never happened ever. Ever. Like ever. And, I mean, the rebels, that like thing they threw in. I don't want to spoil anyone, but that like, I thought that I didn't like that at all. That, it, it, in that solo I'm thing. Watch I know what I'm talking about. Wait, what? I'm okay. Well, you know what? It's been out for like, I'd say a couple months, so I, I guess in Rebel, because Rebels is considered canon, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 I'm with you, I'm with you. That, that time, they, Star they Wars introduced Rebels. time travel. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And We're... I thought that was really stupid, like, that was really dumb, like, you, that just throws Star Wars, you could I, literally do anything. I like, like we discussed this. Like, Star Wars. Wars. from, like, the fight with Vader, like, really? Like, just let her die, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I like, like it. That, Really, I I only think it's bad just for the fact that you can literally do anything now. Like mm -hmm. Obi Wan could technically travel back or travel forward in time and still be alive. Anyone can still be alive. Anyone but can I think, yeah. that. They can... Well, I think we discussed this when when we were talking about the finale. Is oh, it does, does open up a can of worms, and you know they do try and 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 do some damage control with that by saying, oh, you know. You can't choose to save everyone, but at the same time, well, what what stopped him from saving Ahsoka? Like he could have also right. just let her die. So it's 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 another can of worms. And like, damn it, save Vader. Who cares about her? Like, when Luke was about when she was about to die. Like when you know what I mean? I don't know. That yeah. I mean, like yeah, like it's it's. I mean, they're doing a lot with Star Wars, so maybe it's yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, they are space wizards, Derek. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> So that's it's just a natural progression of things, you know. The, first they were doing telekinesis, then they were doing lightning things, then they were like super athletic and all that. Now they can time travel. Like what else? Can yeah. You do? Oh man. So, so, so uh, circling back, you know, we're talking about actors not being at fault and and their performances. Yeah. What did you guys think of Alden Ehrenreich as Han Solo? He was mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't really look like Han Solo to me but mm -hmm. he was all right i like that he yeah. did pose right <laughs> he has a, a pose a lot right of people were like saying he looked like him like some of my friends that watched it were like he looks like han solo i'm like uh, i don't see it at all like it's yeah. like when you cover his eyes he does look like han solo like that one yeah, scene, right, that right, one scene right, it does right. but then and, eyes are such a big part of a person oh that's true you know? and the mannerisms were on point like for sure exactly but, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I was i was looking for the flaws and the only real flaw I could find is he doesn't completely look like Harrison Ford, which is not his fault. Uh, oh, right. But aside from that, like he acts his butt off to 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 be Han Solo, and it virtually works. If if right, he was one of the for sure. Exactly. This is part. He I, is I, part I of it. the reason why it worked. 
But what's up, Wancha? One reason why probably solo. I don't know how to say it. One of the reasons, uh, another reason why solo is kind of hits you the wrong way, really, is why? Why is he a good guy? Yes. Isn't it? Yes. It's another. So, because his entire arc in the the original trilogies is he's the scum of the earth. He's just the oh, he's a he's the average Joe. He's you. He's you in the Star Wars man. Like, he's the average Joe, and he just he's someone you're supposed to relate to, and he just. I don't know. He saves the day. He turns into a, a hero. Guy. You know. Right. No. No. It, right. But right, now, right. Right. But now you you just you put him on this pedestal, and you, you don't give him like a normal backstory and anything. You, you make him a hero. So because yeah. that's what they happened. He became another. He became a hero. He's a good guy in the movie. They they flat out say it. Yeah. You're a good true. guy, Han. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he basically started the rebellion. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, exactly. That's a what they're saying. You're right. But, and they were on a good track with what Wancho said with the solo thing. Like he's alone because he just does his own thing, and then kind of like, okay, you're. Yeah, that's, you're that's why you didn't, you didn't you didn't have to give him all that. You didn't have to make him a hero. You yes. Just, you just needed him to go on an adventure, the heist. Yeah. Make him steal yeah, stuff. That, I agree with that. that but that, I think I'm more you didn't need that. That it says solo a Star Wars story. Like maybe yeah. they're doing Obi Wan movie, the Star Wars story. Oh yeah, they, they, there are talks about that. Or I'm I'm assuming Darth Maul, because yeah, or like Boba Fett. I think they're talking about Boba Fett being the next one. Yeah. So well, I'll get to that in a how, sec. How, but how yeah. awkward is it though that this this movie is called Solo, a Star Wars movie, but it's it's right. like the most not. I know. I know. It's an ensemble cast. <laughs> That's so true. I know. It's like that you know. It's like <laughs> it's the movie. It's the Star Wars movie that just cannot stand on its own. You have yeah. to know the Kessel Run. You have to know Darth Maul. Yeah. yeah. That, that, oh yeah, that is true. <laughs> awkward. That is true. And going back to Wancho's point, you know, uh, if 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 you watch the movies in order, but who does that? If you watch the movies in order, it totally negates, like exactly what Wancho said. It negates his story arc in A New Hope because you then expect him to come back after leaving Luke and Leia for the Battle of the you Death Star. You know he's Star. a good guy. Right. You know he's right. going to come back. The sex, surprise is gone. You're just dude. waiting. Exactly. Now you're just waiting for him to come back and you're not thinking, okay, he's not coming back. Maybe he'll come back in the next movie if you're, you know, if you hadn't seen the movie before. But now you're like, okay, he's going back. He's, he's just going to play hard to get and then he's going to come back and save the day. Which is, ah, uh, uh, it's frustrating. So it's, it's like the way you watch Star Wars now, it just got a lot more complicated because you start with Rogue One, right? Uh-huh. And then you go four, <laughs> five. And, and some then, people don't well, like one. Two, one. Three. So that's yeah. going to like throw Solo off yeah. like completely. Like, yeah. Who's this guy? Yeah. It's just, yeah. you just can't watch Solo before the original trilogy. You just can't do that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Like, like for me, like, because Aiden, Aiden's a baby. He doesn't know anything. Like when he grows up, I'll make him watch Star Wars. I'm like, oh, you can't start with this. You just this one. You can't watch this one. You can start with one. I, 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 that's fine. You start one, two, three, four, five, six. You just don't watch four. I mean, you just yeah, don't right. solo. Yeah, oh, I agree. I did. Yeah, so I guess uh, in the end, yeah, T- Solo was a good movie. Uh, I do have a bit of Star Wars news right after we give our our rating for Solo. So, what do you guys think uh, for for Solo? Ooh, I'd I give it a eight. Me first. Me first. Oh, okay, you go. Go go, 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 go. I go, give go. it a Solo. What? <laughs> Are you serious? No, it just, it just fits. The, the score is so low in this one. So I just have to do it. I'm sticking with it. It's a solo. Derek, man, what, what are you giving it? I'll give it a... I'll give it a three. Okay. I mean, <laughs> at least I was like... At least when I was like sitting there, I was just kind of like more intrigued. Like, what's going to happen? Even though I'm like, I know this is crap. But I'm like, three. <laughs> but three is like... I'll say it's just three. Just because Darth Maul was in it. That's it. <laughs> okay. That's it. Actually, you know what? I- I'm going to give it a seven and a half, not an eight. Because, you know, there are a lot of redeeming qualities to it. And I guess I'm giving it such a high score because I went into it thinking it'd be it'd be bad. I, I thought it'd be bad. Oh, and man. then oh. it actually turned out to be yeah. salvaged. Okay. Right. Yeah. So... Oh, my God. Our, the the two-year time skip of when Han was in the war 
Can I just watch him <laughs> in the war? That would have been more interesting. That would have been cool, actually. Yeah, that, that would have been. Awesome. That would have been good. Like he was that a, been what they call him? Mud trooper? Was that what it was? <laughs> the mud trooper. The mud trooper. I thought that yeah. was like cool, like seeing all those. That was cool. They could have done so much. Yeah. Oh man. So the the, the Star Wars news I wanted to bring up was one. Uh, it turns out they're slowing down production of, of the Star Wars standalone stories because of this, which, again, is uh -huh. dumb, because they shove this right after a, so a main saga movie. So it makes no sense that, that they're taking this as a sample size. And two, apparently George Lucas gave us the reason why Disney went the other way uh, and not use his story treatments that he submitted when they asked him to write uh, the scripts, or not the scripts, but you know the treatments, the the, the outline, and it turns out he want this is his term. He wanted to go microscopic and biological, and he wanted to tell the story of that side of the Force, which now I'm actually really glad they went with the Force Awakens because I don't want to. I don't want any more midichlorians. I'm sick of the midichlorians. One movie was enough. Yeah, I I agree. Like, Why would I, you even go with? I mean, like even going yeah. back further, like into Last Jedi, I I really didn't like that ending with the kid. I didn't like yeah. that at all. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it's great, but who the hell are you? Like, this movie's about these people. Like, <laughs> we can even watch her talk about this. It's always been a Skywalker, yeah, and a uh, and like a Palpatine, kind of like yeah. It's, it's just so it's just why are you bringing but i mean they're supposed to be well, aren't they supposed to go up to like 12 or like 16 or something like that there's, there's one more trilogy after episode nine well and there you go it, going, it's like, dumb kid the trilogy uh, yeah, yeah i know yeah I approved it. <laughs> and it's that's the weird thing lot. right like again like you said star wars is about the saga and the 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 hardships of how the Skywalker family is ruining, ruining the entire universe. If we wanted more of that, put it in a separate Star Wars movie. Like, we're not we're not watching the Avengers to see uh, that kid Iron, Iron Man saw in Iron Man two. Like, we're not we're not we don't want to cut you away. Know that was, you know they said like that was uh, Spider Man, right? I don't like, know. I'll talk about the other kid. The the one after he broke his suit was that Iron Man three, where he. Where he was oh, Iron Man 3. The Iron Man 3. Where three. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, three. Yeah. Yeah. Like, That's I don't want right. to cut away to that kid. I don't want to cut away to right. that genius kid. Yeah, so, right, 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 right. give us more of the Avengers. Give us more of the Skywalker family. I don't want... I mean, I... yeah. That, that's why you have this standalone Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Put them there. Exactly. Just, it's a different it's set of movies. in there. Like... Yeah, <sighs> so... We're, we we started out so happy and now we're ending with frustration. I know, right? <laughs> this is every time we bring up the Last Jedi, we just get all salty. <laughs> it's because we're like we're such big fans that like uh, ah. it's yeah. like why did they why, they made the Star Wars symbol red? Because you know uh, it's yeah. the darkest Star Wars ever. No, it's salt. The red it's shit salt. that was yeah. salt. It that was the salt from that all, planet. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Dark at all. Uh, all right. Well, why do we so, have? So yeah, sadly. <laughs> Guys, we have to... Uh, let me change the music up. All right, guys. Sadly, this is the end of the show. But because it's the end of the show, you know, we, we can talk about the good stuff, the happy stuff. Uh, yeah. First of all, Derek, yes. I, I think it's safe to say you have been a wonderful addition to the Quit Stalling Oh, man, cast. I, I love it, man. This is fun. I, I was been really excited to do this uh, from when you guys first invited me. And I'm, I'm happy I have a setup now, and I'm... I'm ready to do this, and whatever you guys need extra person, or I'm willing to do it. I, I had a great time, and it's really fun. Oh, bad! It, it was so awesome to have you, and yeah, looking forward to having you on regularly. Uh, yeah. So, man, I'm trying to get hyped again after all that frustration, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. It was, it was so much salt. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. I, I I love having you on, Derek. And Wancho, I'm glad I'm glad we're back to doing this. I, I miss you. I miss you. Wancho. Don't worry, Wancho loves ha having me on too. <laughs> so so. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he left. Oh no, he left. <laughs> I was gonna go get him in the other room, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Drag him by the neck. Um, yeah. But yeah, guys. Sadly, this is the end of the show. And at the end of the show. You know, we say our goodbyes. We thank everyone. So, 
first things first, let's thank everyone from the chat room. InstaDZ, who's been awesome. Uh, Francis, who was here earlier but had to leave because it was lunchtime. Jay-Z Time, a.k.a. Justin. Uh, Miku P, who gave us the sub. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Human Panda 22 thank you so much. Uh, was anyone else uh, chatting with us? Enly. Enly was there in the chat. Uh, thank you, everyone. So our most recent followers, DJ Leo Gaming, Fortnite for Life 21 to 11. My name is Jeff, 21. Uh, Devin is bad <laughs> at Fortnite 5. Uh, Ultimate Two Hood. Okay, I don't want to say I don't say the name. Uh, D- Dumbledore, T Banzon, Glide Zero Two One, Sax Gamer One Two Three, and Eyebrow Stuff. Thank you guys so much for following Thanks, us. Guys. And of course, our most recent subs or all our subs: Miko P with a third sub earlier, like we mentioned. Salon Chen, Elder Jin, Archer Perez, Pot ZP, Human Panda Twenty Two. Our all-time bit cheerers, Elder Jin, leading with a thousand bits, Nerf Diva, Nope underscore plays, Tita Gamings, and DZ. Clark U plays, Cloud Coon, I am Cockack, Deej Fabian, and the Android Master Paul. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show. If you at home want to support the show, if you were listening to the podcast or if you're watching the VODs, the links are below. Check those out if you want to support us. If you're not watching live and want to support us, hit those. Uh, Derek, man, where can the folks at yes. home find you when you're not on the Quit Stalling Geek Cast? When I'm not a quit song, you can find me on Twitch. I, I stream Monday to Friday, like 7.30 to 10. Uh, but if I'm on here regularly, I'll be here Monday. So that would be awesome. But you can catch me at Sensei Humor. I don't have a Facebook or YouTube yet, but I do have an Instagram, and it's also Sensei Humor. And, of course, it's obviously, obviously the kar- Karate Sensei, not oh. Sense of Humor. But uh, all said right there, perfect. It right works. Here. It works. Bam. Sensei Humor Bam. and... Yes, yeah, so you can catch me Monday to Friday. I'm on the weekends too. Um, just stay tuned to the chat. I always post updates in there too if ever anything changes. But thanks, guys. I love you all. Sweet, sweet. Wancho, man, where can the folks at home find you when you're not on the I was just thinking, I, sh- I should probably get a Twitch too. <laughs> yeah, dude, do it. <laughs> do it. Uh, you, I have a Twitter, which is honestly, I'm forgetting. It's at Soldano Wancho. Right? Yeah, at Saldana Wano. Uh, that's my Twitter. Uh, but you can, I also have an Instagram you can follow, which is at Wancho Saldana. So just switch it around. Awesome. And I sh- yeah, I, I should change all of that to Choey Saldana. Honestly, I, I love that <sighs> tag right now. Do it. <laughs> Do it before someone charges you money. Do it before someone snipes you and charges you money. I know, right? Money. I know, dude. <laughs> you know where you can find Wancho? My bed. Waiting for Daddy uh... to get there. Okay. <laughs> hey, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. <laughs> so I can say that like out loud. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. If you want to find me outside of the Quit Slime Geek Cast later tonight in about uh, eight hours or no, seven hours, we're going to be doing the Overwatch community scrim night. So me and Diego Zier are going to be shout casting some Overwatch with the help of our lovely friend Sorbetha's PH. Check that out. If you want to find me. Uh, oh, also, we have Game Bite Wednesday nights at 9.30 p.m. Philippine Standard Time. Wednesday morning... Oh, Tuesday? No, Wednesday mornings, uh, 5.30 a.m. Uh, L.A. time. So check that out, California time. Uh, if you guys want to find me specifically, you can check me out at Harold Plays on Twitter, Instagram, and, of course, twitch.tv slash Harold Plays. Um, yeah, that's it. If you guys want to find all those links, check them out below. Uh if you're watching us live on Twitch, there are buttons there that you can click. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, the the links are in the description, in the comments. And uh, if you're watching on, uh, if you're listening to the podcast only version, the show, the notes should have all the links there as well. Uh, or head on over to quitstalling.us, and the links are there. www.quitstalling.us.us. Check that out. Uh, I'm, I'm going to add Derek's info below as well, so you guys can start clicking that. Appreciate that. Our, our newest host. Right, look at that face. Look at that face. Hold on. Here, right, let me try it again. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that works. See, right, good job. <laughs> it's like, there, good that, job. That's how it was supposed to be. Well, All right, guys. Thank you to everyone. We will see you Thanks, next guys. week. Same bat time. Same bat channel. Till then, get off your butts and quit stalling. Bye, everybody. Bye. Here we go. Bye. Outro.